What is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. I'm your host, Edward. John. Paul. Ken. Normally, I don't like doing this, but hopefully it sounds okay. Hopefully, I, I hate having y'all do our two. We've done 15, 20, maybe, sound checks over yeah. the course of... Anyway, a lot has changed. Uh, you may or may not notice, but uh, if you don't, all the better. Uh, today, we are streaming Weimar, uh, a fight or the fight for democracy, designed by Matthias Kramer. Published by Spielworks. So, Uli, well done you. And then also uh, by Capstone Games here in the States. So, Clay and everybody. Big thanks to John. We got his copy. Uh, oh, it's Paul's. For some I, you're, We're just going to keep passing the buck. It's okay right? to thank me, Edward. It's all right. All right. No, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so, big thanks to Paul for uh, not it. wanting to learn the game and passing it off on me. That's <laughs> Absolutely. That's basically how that works. That right? It's been exactly. a long con. A yeah, long con. So, yeah. It's, <laughs> Well played, you. Yeah. Well done, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, so tonight, Weimar, is going to be a long one, unless it's not. Yeah. What I mean by that <laughs> is I'm just going to do an overview of the teach because, honestly, the mechanisms aren't hard, but the, the iterations and the choices that we make, that's where the depth comes in. That's what makes this game difficult. It's six rounds, but each round can take – the first round's probably going to take an hour and a half because – we're going to actually step through everything real slowly, but it's about an hour around. So the game can end prematurely. So it's supposed to go six rounds. It might not, or, uh, or it does. And we're here for the duration. Um, we've all done bumps of Coke and we've all eaten. So we're good to go. I'm kidding. I brought not one, but two cans of Diet Coke. Wow. See, there you go. Right. Awesome. All right. Um, cool. Y'all ready? Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not, but it's, <laughs> I've been, Literally doing it live. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, to start, we're gonna take down those cameras. There you go. Welcome to Weimar. What is it y'all are looking at? So the game board's broken up into different areas, obviously. So it's called the German Empire. The look, these are the cities up here. We got the round track right there. We have what were it's the Deutschreich box. Uh, the DR box or the uh, the threat box, okay? Those threat markers are going to go there as well as into the cities out there. Then we also have uh, dissolved units, aka things that are dead. That's a nice way of saying things that have been removed and died, all right? We have the reserves. So we're going to get action points throughout this game. You're allowed to bank one or two action points as the game goes on. We have parliament. Parliament is literally how many seats in parliament do you have there are 24 dual layer board seats here overflow is going to go into this area then if you are familiar with a game like churchill or whatnot we have the issues track so there's this is going to be in churchill it's a three sided you know push pull type thing uh but here in weimar it is four and i do want to point out when we get here that it is asymmetric as far as the way it's laid out all right when we get into the politics phase, we have the politics area, which is all of this down here. We have the round card that is going, going to coincide with the round track. We have the foreign affairs card, which is going to coincide with the factions that are in government. Then we have the uh, foreign affairs tracker. We have the industry tracker. And then down here is the NSDAP, also known more colloquially as the Nazi party, all right, or the brown shirts. Uh, they're going to come into play. Hopefully they don't come into play. Uh, that would be bad, okay? We're, we're, we're all collectively trying to avoid that. <coughs> here in the center, we have a crisis um, a roles information here. Uh, and then we have our player boards. So our player boards are asymmetric, so everybody has their own faction, and they are most the same but there are some different uh, 
details in the various actions that we're going to be able to take, okay? Everybody has their draw pile. Everybody starts with an asymmetric, uh, their own deck of 12 cards. Their discard pile will go there. Their agenda, which is going to be four cards, there's always going to be four available there. And additional party, apparently I don't get to party. Only the rest of them get to party because everybody else has an additional thing there. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much everything you're looking at. These are the Nazis, the brown shirts, boo, yes, boo those people, boo. There are some flags. There are a ton, a ton of different markers as well. So we have the uh, government board over here with police uh, and a whole bunch of threat markers up there off camera and a whole bunch of other markers, as well as the victory point markers, because the goal of the game sort of is victory points. All right, so that's everything that you're looking at, all right? So the question is, what is it you're trying to do or how do you play? Now, those are two very different distinct <laughs> things. What are you trying to do? I will tackle in a minute. I will go ahead and talk about, however, how the game flows first, okay? The game plays, as I mentioned earlier, over six rounds at most. Within each round, there are four phases. There's a <coughs> republic phase, which is effectively set up for the round. The agenda phase is get cards and maybe do some stuff. The impulse phase is the meat of the game. That's when we're going to play cards and do a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then in the impulse phase is going to go round, 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 round until we played all our cards. The fourth phase is the politics phase. And the politics phase is all of this right down through here. Okay. So that's the flow of the game. So effectively, we're going to be drawing cards, setting our agenda, choosing our agenda, maybe drawing more cards, it, our own cards, as well as timeline cards. Now, these timeline cards, you can see over on the round track. Actually, we will go. Ah, yep, I will get it right yet. The round track right here is segmented into three different colors. There's a yellow, an orange, and a brown. Notice it's getting more and more brown. Again, brown shirts, 1933. We'll talk about the history of this before we get started. But in the first two rounds, the it's the yellow phase or the the the, rel the the yellow part of the game. What I mean by that is if you take a look at the board, this deck is made up of two different colors of cards. And I'll show you all that here. All right. So these are from my deck. And then these are from the timeline deck. Yellow, because we're in the yellow phase, gray, always in, okay? So when we're in yellow, the yellow cards will be mixed in with the gray. When we get to orange, notice the exclamation point, we're gonna remove all the yellow cards, whether they're in discard, remove from play, or in the draw deck, remove them all, take all their gray discards, gather them all up into one deck, and add, that, and add the orange to it. Then we're gonna rinse and repeat and do the same, but for the brown, okay? So that's how that is going to work. Now, what is it you're trying to do in this game? That all depends on who you are. So now I feel like is a good time to talk about the four factions and where we are in history, all right? So a little, indulge me a little bit of flavor because I think it really matters here, okay? All right, a moment while I have a drink. All right. Shall we accommodate Fernando and move this one right here? <laughs> all right. There we go. There you go, Fernando. The First German Republic. Berlin, November 9, 1918. The armistice has not yet been signed, and the mood in the German capital is tense. The working people want to strike in large numbers, even though the streets are lined with troops. Will they even survive the day? A few hours later at 2 p.m., Philip Schneidmann of the Social Democratic Party of, German, of Germany proclaimed the Republic. The first German democracy was born. The Weimar Republic took its name from the city of, you guessed it, Weimar, uh, where the Constituent Assembly was held in 1919. It existed until 1933, when the Nazis took pow power together with DNVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The period from its foundation to its decline can be divided into three stages. 
From 1918 to 1923, the Weimar Republic suffered from severe problems such as hyperinflation and political extremism. In addition, there were various coup attempts from the left and the right, as well as the unresolved reparations issue vis-a-vis -vis the victorious powers of the First World War. From 1924 to 1929, the Weimar Republic managed to restore economical and political stability. During these quote-unquote golden 20s, the Republic enjoyed relative prosperity and German art, culture, and science began to flourish. However, the global economic crisis of late 1929 hit the Young Republic particularly hard. The resulting high employment, numerous acts of violence, such as Blut Mai and the Altona Blo Bloody Sunday, led to the collapse of the coalition government. From March 1930, various chancellors ruled using emergency powers granted by President of the Reich von Hindenburg. The period ended when it, with Hitler's appointment as Reich Channel Chancellor, January 30, 1933. So what we're trying to do, depending on what faction we are, I'll go ahead and start because, honestly, makes sense. I've been talking a lot. Let's keep it going. The DNVP, all right, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Mm -hmm. We effectively are, want to bring back the monarchy. We do not like the government. We are anti-democracy, I, I can tell you that. So what I'm going to be doing, I can do some stuff over here in Parliament, but I'm going to be focused on, honestly, uh, putting out um, uh, regime markers out here or what look like stormtroopers out into the cities. That's going to be the predominant way that I'm going to be able to win the game, okay? If I get four of these regime markers out on the board, I win. Or if I get two of these out and one in Berlin, so three. Berlin counts double, basically. Ber yeah, effectively, Berlin counts double. <clears throat> so that's me. Now, the KDP, those are the communists. They're actually really similar, if not polar opposite of me, mm -hmm. but in the way that they are trying to play the game. Right. So, yeah. So I'm going to have a lot of units on the board, a lot of bases and cities, and I'm going to be trying to place out uprising councils, which are similar to regimes. So we play a little differently, but it's, it's, it's much more on the board than in Parliament right. for us as well. And then there is the SPD, which is hardcore democracy and focused on parliament yeah left left to center uh really forcing policy not so much street presence um a lot of government change it really wants to preserve the democracy yeah. so they're going to be focused more on this half of the board this year, and yeah. fighting off the pink and black and, basically and i win spd wins if i can hold on long enough to the end of the game essentially yeah, yeah. you have the most uh, victory points for that. Right. and the most victory which points, i'll yeah. talk about how we truly <laughs> win in a minute and i i'm the same thing only i'm i'm right of center um zentrum that's right sorry yes zentrum uh, i am the right of center uh i am also trying to kind of stave off all the bad stuff that or from my perspective all the bad stuff that's going to happen here uh, using the, uh, the the police and that sort of thing, uh, but uh, also I'm also going to be trying to manipulate the issues board in order to keep things going for six rounds so that I will have the most victory points at the end. And you're very good at debating. Yes, yeah. yes I am. Let's first let us define the word debate. <laughs> A debate is it? No, I'm not going to do that. I was not in debate club. <laughs> well, we'll see how you fare. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So with that said, the game ends a number of different ways. Okay. The most unlikely way that the game is going to end is it goes six rounds. <laughs> if the game goes six rounds, we strictly add up our victory points. Whoever has the most points wins. Yep. Okay. All right. There is, if the KPD or the DNVP overthrow the Republic, all right, we, we win immediately one of two ways. Mm -hmm. One is, again, if we have four of those octagonal markers out there, yep. be it council markers <laughs> if you can, if the regime markers if they're me, three if Berlin has one, okay? Right. So we end immediately, and that player wins. So the government is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. And obviously, Ken and I are opposites, trying not to let that happen, okay? 
The other way, that, and the most unlikely, I would say, way is if in the form new government phase of the politics phase, mm -hmm. if at that moment, 50% of all of these seats that are currently filled in parliament are filled by either the KPD or the DNVP, that faction wins immediately. Now, you'll notice there are 24 seats at the beginning, 19 are filled. Half of 19 is 10. So if the game, if one of us had 10 in this example, then we would win the game immediately, only when checked during that step in the politics phase, okay? So that is three of the ways that the game ends. The fourth way that the game ends. Poorly. Poor, poor, real poorly. If the Nazis get a sixth seat in power, we all basically, lose. we all lose. Now, there's also whoever has the most of their markers out here that facilitated that loses the most. I'll be honest, I'll fall on my sword before I let that crap happen. Yes. Like, just no, okay? Um, oh, and there is one other way I apologize. There are six spots here for threat markers. If a seventh threat marker would ever need to be placed out there immediately, or placed out there, the game immediately ends. Whoever <coughs> is in government, which at the beginning of the game is the SPD and Zentrum, everybody who is associated with that, so in this case it would be both of them, each lose eight victory points, then count up. Whoever has the most points wins. Is that a lot of victory points? Yeah. Uh, it is a non-trivial <laughs> amount. Yes, sir. And that's thematically anarchy. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. We right. have we have failed. Right. Yep. Correct. All right. Now, with that said, I think we just roll into it. Uh, one more thing. I want to talk about the asymmetry of yeah. the uh, of the issues track. When issues come out, they're going to be placed either out here on the zero space or this giant because that way they're not stacked up. Clearly, clearly, yeah. when Matthias and Uli made this game, they were like, you know what? Edward's probably going to want to stream this uh. at some point. <laughs> and so when you have these stacked up, you really can't see them like that. So we're going to put this giant spot so everybody sees where the zero is. Hey, Uli, Matthias, well done you. Edward right? hates the third dimension. Yeah. He's two, 2D all the way. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> all right. So serious note, this zero space is effectively there. Okay. Whenever we get there, and I'm going to, I'm going to spend a, a quite a bit of time of explaining how the cards work when we get there. But when you can, if you choose to debate, okay, uh, what that means is you are trying to move whatever issues you choose some number of steps up your track. Okay. So let's say for instance, this one out here starts at the zero and I can move an issue three spaces. You must always move it your direction okay but let's say it ended up over there and now it's my turn i can move it three spaces and in fact let's go ahead and bring that over so you all can see that a little better so if it were here in black the dmvp can move it three spaces one two three one two three those are my two options effective i like that option better okay now why why paul likes that is because when we get there in the politics phase um the issues will resolve. If it is on these spots, uh, then both factions must agree to a to a a, a positive uh, result for this. There are usually multiple options. They have to agree on that. If they don't agree, guess what? They don't get it. Okay. So, but that said, so there. You must always try and pull it in your direction, even if you might think, "Hey, my partner, quote unquote, might be okay." No, I'm, you must pull it your way. And the reason I wanted to say it's asymmetric is you'll notice pink and black shares no, that there are no half spaces. There is no commonality mm -hmm. between the DNVP and the KPD. Right. Okay. Whereas there's common and also there is no commonality between the SPD and the uh, DNVP as well, or the, the monarchists, mm -hmm. I guess, kind sure. of. Right. And there is no... Um, Commonality. Commonality, thank you, between KPD and Zentrum as well, okay? So just, just pointing out a little bit, even though it might be, you might see it and be like, well, duh, it's built that way. I just thought it was a really clever way yeah, yeah. of showing that mm -hmm. all. Okay. Yeah, okay. 
All right. So with that said, um, honestly, I think I think we briefly go through the setup. The setup itself, I'm not gonna like step through all that, but what we will is we will finish the setup of all of this, okay? So, and also there's some cool flavor text of the history of all the factions. Yeah. So definitely recommend. There are quote unquote the minor parties. They're not really minor. They're NPCs in our game is what they how that mm. turns out. Okay. They are special abilities that can make their way around the table if the conditions are right. Right. Which that'd be nice to actually have one. It's not sad out with them. Yeah, some right. wood to chop over there. Right? Seriously. All right. So um all right, we start off setting up the game board. Now we're going we've already gone through and done all of this for setup, okay? Yeah. Like made the deck. Uh, put these guys out, did all this stuff. Okay, now, the following steps are also listed at the top of the Foreign Affairs card, Compagna. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that bad boy. So, I'll go ahead and zoom this in. Just, ah, there you go. There you go. So, I'll read it, but also y'all be able to follow along on this, okay? Perform them in the order and then remove the card from the game, leaving the Treaty of Versailles card visible atop the pile. Designers note, on November 11, 1918, the armistice that ended the fighting in World War I, the 11th day on the 11th month of the 11th hour, you, you get that, uh, uh, was, si uh, was signed in a railroad card in the Compagna. I, how do you say that? I would say it's com Compagna. Compagna, I think. Forest in France. And th therefore, this event serves as the starting point for the setup. Place the following threat markers, which are always octagonal in shape, uh, on the game board. There are going to be three poverty markers. So if we come on out, right, those three poverty markers. We're going to roll, and these are going to, you know what, I will fix this later. I will come back to that. Give me one second. There it is. All right, cool. So we're going to roll dice three times and wherever we end up that's where we're going to end up so three number. stuttgart gets a poverty marker is it the highest number no it's uh roll two dice and add them up you know it's yeah. just usually yeah. it'd be hard to get to seven that's true yeah two, two is konigsberg and then if you were to roll the same city like a two or a three in this case roll again so that is an eight, that is S and hey, all right. So those have poverty markers out there. You know those are poverty markers because you guessed it. They say poverty on them. Mm. All right, so now let's go ahead and head back over to the foreign events or foreign affairs card. So the three poverty markers are already placed out as you can see like those. Now that, uh, the blockade, and the inflation, those are up, need to go up into the DR box. Because inflation, because uh, reparations, mm -hmm. blockade, you can't, you don't get to leave because you, I, reparations, I think. Their, yeah, yeah, They lost right. a lot of their land. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right, next, we uh, one council marker in Munich. Boo. 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 Those communists. Boo. Already a quarter of the way winning. Seriously, gross. All right, then there are four unrest markers. The unrest markers go into specific cities. Berlin, Munich, Essen, and Hamburg. Now, earlier I mentioned seven threat markers in the DR box specifically. It'll make sense when they go in the DR box and when they go into the cities as we go along, okay? All right, so now... All of the other threat markers, and there are a plethora, Pepe, a whole lot of them. Uh, those are off the board up there. Now, we already have our party markers out here in Parliament. Now, look, I realize technically the KPD is far left. They should be over here. But we did it where we're sitting. It kind of makes sense. It's also, the co this is the government coalition. Right? Yeah. This yeah. is the opposition. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we hate each other, but. Right. But, you know. It, How's that? Sure. That way we have a little new encroaching on your there. territory there. Yeah. I can hear him whispering. All yeah. right. So now the next step is place the indicated number of party figures into different cities of your choice as well as in parliament. Parliament, we've already done. Okay. All seriousness now. There we go. Okay. All right. 
So, and this happens in order. So the SPD starts out, they have seven in parliament, which are the red figures, and then six different cities. So knock yourself out. I wanna make sure I can see what the uh, KPV is doing. Berlin seems like a good spot, mm -hmm. um, just to prevent. Yep. Um, I'll get in Cologne, since there's no unrest there. Uh, I'll get on to Essen to maybe take care of some of the poverty. Um, uh, get into Frankfurt for the cuisine. <laughs> and uh, I guess put me up at Rostock, please. Yeah. Because yeah. it has to be different cities, correct? They have yeah. to be different cities. All right, yeah. now Zentrum, yeah. five in Parliament, which is done, five different cities. Okay, I'm also going to go here because I think that it's probably worth getting rid of some of that unrest, uh, which I have the ability to do uh, if I get if I you know if I if I get really good at um, rolling some dice. Which anyone who knows me knows that that is not my forte. Berlin, because it's such an important city to this. Um, let's see here. I'm also going to try to get down here to maybe I can I have the ability um, if, again if I roll well. To get rid of this marker. Yeah, that's me cheering. Sorry, oh. I, I apologize. You're cheering because I, I said roll well instead of roll good. No, no, <laughs> no not critiquing. No, well, not he doesn't want to. No, yeah. I just anti-communist. That's so. true. Okay, true. Here we go. Uh, and I think I'm going to go to Leipzig because uh, their cuisine's uh, not so bad either, and um, Breslau because you know here I am in Breslau. Four and four. All right. So we'll go to Königsberg, to Essen, down to Stuttgart, down there, and Munich. This so makes me nervous that you guys like definitively or play like when Ken does this, because I'm like I haven't had a chance to really look at <laughs> like I'm not I'm I'm so the the last thing I'm thinking about is strategy like leading up to a stream. Well, here. you also you're assuming we're confident in our decisions yeah. too. So well, I mean Ken definitely <laughs> sounded confident. Um, all right, I'll go ahead and go up to Hamburg. All that's going to do is make me have to, or hungry. Yep. Um, well, you I know got, what? I got you. Unrest is good for me. Mm -hmm. um, I, and also, it should be pointed out, uh, these, these countersunk spots, that's how many can go there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So I will, uh, let's go ahead and hang out in Berlin. And, I mean, booked, booked. Uh, right, and of course you could bump one of us out. I could, but yeah. it is Königsberg. I say it's Königsberg's nicest time of year. So. Yeah, I, I hear it is. Yes. Right. All right. Cool. <laughs> all right. So that is all of setup. Okay. So again, the first round is going to go. If you're familiar with the game, it's going to go agonizingly it's slow. Slowly. Because I'm. We're all going. Me predominantly, but all of us are going to be explaining everything as we go. Yep. In the politics phase, we are going to take our time through, walking through. Okay. So the round marker does have an issue that's supposed to come out. Do you want to pass the yellow issues, Paul? Yeah, this one here. Did I miss that in setup? We just haven't hit that yet. I don't know where it comes. Oh, well, because we're about to start round one. Is it the Republic phase? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. get there. We'll we're get about there. to yeah, start yeah, yeah, round yeah. one. Okay. So I'm going to, this card's going to leave the game. Yeah. Okay, you're right. So, okay, that has been done. So we actually put that back where rip, it was Rip it up, second. destroy it. I mean, it's not my game. I don't care. Um, okay, so if you take a look, now, just as a visual cue, we actually step through all of those things, right? Everything mm -hmm. that I said in the rule book, and then, hey, exclamation point if you did the exclamation point which you obviously have to but that's going to be an important point to distinction remove it from the game okay so that gets removed from the game go ahead and now flip over the top card if you would be so kind mm -hmm. hey the treaty of versailles and you'll notice down here at the board that one is colored different that is pre-game effectively and now treaty of versailles there we go ready to rock and roll okay so now we go into round one, phase one, which is the Republic phase. So the first thing that we need to do is resolve the round card. All right. So now allow me. Is 
There we go. All right. So the round card. There you go. Protecting Republic Law. Uh, you'll see Protecting Republic Law. It's a yellow issue. Um, it's going to go onto the zero space. So there you go. Boom. Protecting Republic Law. Okay, that step is now done. Politics phase. The winner of that Protecting Republic Law chooses either they're going to put out the Republic Law marker and clear an unrest, boo, or add one of your own into Parliament, gain a seat in Parliament. And then when that's done, remove it from the game. But I want to point out, so this says when it's done, remove it from the game, but it says it takes place in a politics phase. So this is going to hang out until we get here for the politics phase and who we resolve it, whoever uh, won that issue then gets to do it, then it'll go out. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Um, so the Republic or mm, the Republic phase, yeah, let me actually, uh, the player aid actually does an amazing job it's of really stepping good. you through this too. Solid. Okay. So we have advanced the round tracker, skip that in round one, obviously, uh, resolve the current round card. We have resolved it as far as we can until we get to that step. Yep. The next part is the agenda phase. So the agenda phase, if you would, um, oh, you know what? Mm. I'll use my cards. It's fine. Go ahead and shuffle those up, Will somebody, you? if you would, please. I need to shuffle mine up. They were, I was going to use them as an example, mm. but I'll do it when we get there. Yeah. Are you all following along, and is it making sense so far, even if you don't really see the meat of the game yet all right all right so with that said everybody draws two time uh line cards and i should point out that turn order is going to change potentially a couple times throughout the turn okay whoever is the reich president which spd is chancellor not reich's president thank you i misspoke whoever is the chancellor in other words who has the most seats chancellor gets to decide who goes first in certain situations. The exception to that is if somebody won the reparations uh, right there, the one with a bunch of dudes in hats, whoever won that automatically is the first player. Outside of that, which obviously no one has won it yet, <laughs> the chancellor actually chooses who's going to go first for this. Now, technically, it's really, actually, no, no. It does matter right now. So the chancellor is going to decide who's going first. He could himself, someone else, whatever. So you choose. Um, I would like KPD to go first. All okay. right, KPD is going first. First thing we do, first thought here, I'll let you cut them. Go sure. ahead. They've been shuffled. Everyone's going to draw two. And again, these are the yellow or gray cards. So two in... And for those, you know, that are pedantic about, oh, well, you didn't draw them in the right order. We did. There you go. Uh, all right. But to me, really doesn't matter that much. It's my game. They can fight me. There you go. Everyone's drawn two timeline cards. Now, everybody has four agenda cards. These four agenda cards are going to basically set the tone of your round. Yeah. You, if I've chosen, let's say, this one. Okay. I can choose that next round in every round as it will be. Okay. okay? However, um, I can change it every round. But just because I chose it this round doesn't mean it's not available to me in subsequent rounds. You just keep okay? that agenda going the whole time. If you want. So you always can look at these. It's, it's free to choose, you know, to look through mm -hmm. them or at any time, whatever. Okay. Once you've chosen, everyone's going to turn their card face down and put it out here somewhere signify it then we're all going to simultaneously flip them over and these will resolve and we will resolve them in turn order okay, okay. so with that said a moment while i peruse chotemate <laughs> may i have a player aid please oh do you not uh how many are there ken I just... you you have them all i do you're, you're, are there four of them yeah i think so yeah, man, they're so they're so good i'm glad we have four uh-oh fail just put that anywhere you want okay yeah. We need one of those. I mean, not just glory to Rome, which, by the way. Oh, uh, God. Um, oh. 
I'm going to say eight and a half. Glory to Rome. These are party specific. Are they? That's, that's for you. I thought oh. they were, actually. How do you, oh, that's you sure look pink. <laughs> Here, you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, you know it's party specific because it has your party icon color Neat. through all of these things, too. So, yeah, nice. Time Good looking out. Right. Spiel works. Um, so, I want. Okay. So we've all played this once, mm -hmm. uh, and it actually flows really well. It, it really well. It strategically makes me think of Kutnahara. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> it, you depend on other people to help. Oh, I see. I see what yeah, that Yeah, that's was. definitely true. Yeah. Sure. It's very intertwined, for sure. Yeah. Which sucks, if you're me. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at you, Paul. I'm sure you are. All right. I have chosen. And I will step through these, like, especially on my turn. Um, but we'll, we'll also, uh, we'll have Ken go through his yeah. as as he goes as well. So we're going to start with Ken and then go around the table. Clockwise. It's always in seating order. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, there, there is no definitive thing in on BGG. Yep. Matthias Kramer has not said, yep. sit in this order, shoot, whatever. A lot of people sit in this order. Um, honestly, the, the, we had some discussion about whether or not the KPD and the DMVP should be opposites so that you get one government yeah. and one revolutionary. Uh, inter but yeah. you know what? It just worked out this way. There was nobody that really made a compelling case for right. why. It yeah. was just like, well, we do it this way. We do it this way. But, but you know, until, until the man himself comes along. And right. And Matias hasn't said anything. So, therefore... We're just going to randomize it, and that's that. All right. All right. I'm revealing first, am I? Yes. No, everyone's revealing simultaneously. Okay. One, two, three, flip. All right, yeah, one, two, three, flip. There we go. Just say the name of what yours is, and we'll go around, and then we'll resolve yours. Yes, all so time. I'm revealing the Revolution Now agenda. All right, mine is With Power to the Power. Mine is Defending Democracy. And mine is More Security. Okay. All right, so now Ken will step us through... His stuff. Okay. So go for it. So when I play this card, I add in five additional party cards from the R deck, the Revolution deck. Show the R in the corner. Yep. So there. There you go. Yep. Yeah. There are five of those. That he has two different decks. They're going to go into my party deck, and I'm going to reshuffle this. Yes. So I have. And then it tells me a little something about what's going on here. So it, it's going to give me uh, a couple of different sets of. Uh, Paramilitary stuff. Back. Uh, reinforcements yeah, is what the game calls right, them, right? There you go, right? It will let me perform coups and it'll let me add the yellow uh, society marker revolution in. Um, it will immediately give me one to my reserve. And then instead of drawing three cards this round, I will draw four uh, yeah. party cards and then I'll get to play one right at the start of the impulses right. space. Important to note, Ken's going first, so he's going to theoretically take two turns in a row. Right. Because play one at the start, and then the impulses begin. Right. If any of us get a at the start, that happens in turn order. So let's say Ken and John each get that. Yeah. Ken would go first, then John would go. Then the impulse round would begin, and then it will go clockwise around the yeah. table. Okay? So you're going to shuffle. You're going to draw that yours, right? Yep, that's me. All right. And I will go ahead and bring mine. And look, no one here is saying that this is going to be expert level play here. In fact, <laughs> quite the opposite. So your mileage may vary. Mm. I'm not talking hardcore strategy here, but with power to the power. So again, I'm going to be adding the C deck. So again, you can see the C's up here in the corner of all of those. They are my faction deck because they have my faction information in the top left hand corner i'll go over all that when we talk about impulses but uh so i get to take that and then it basically is going to uh it says it's going to allow you to do coups and paramilitary actions predominantly also it allows me to take control of the police the police are those two uh white markers so there are paramilitary um markers are these tombstone shaped markers here all right and the police that's the military uh, so there you go so military ones yeah. not to be confused with every breath you take yeah. all right yeah 
They will be watching. You, they will be it. watching. Yes. All right. So with that said, uh, so and I get to bank one reserve just like Ken did. So Ken, uh, somebody, there we go. So that will go there, and then search your draw pile for a reinforcement card. Take it into your hand and shuffle the draw pile afterwards. Then draw one less card this round because normally you're going to draw three party cards. Well, this is going to be one of my three, effectively. Mm -hmm. All right. So if we take a look over here at my deck, I'm going to go until I get a reinforcement card. I think you, you're supposed to put those in first, though. Fair point. I do. So a moment. Um, John, you want to go ahead and talk about yours, and I'll do mine in a minute. Go for sure. it. Sure. Just watch your head. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I have Defending Democracy. Um, put it on your board. Which lets me uh, add the D deck. <clears throat> and I'm deciding to do that because only... Two of my agenda cards allow me to add decks, and I feel like when we played before, I, I had missed out on that opportunity. So um, not only do I add the democracy set uh, to my deck, I get to add, I get to bring in three of my military power or um, authority power to the game. I don't get to add them to my supply yet. Um, there's a card that does that. Um, so I add the D deck. I also add the security um agenda to the issues track all right uh, so uh, that'll go on zero is... uh the one with the hat um the military looking hat that the arm yep there we go. <clears throat> so we'll put that there because that's the same as that yep. yep and i get to look at all players timeline cards okay what? so right now? yes mm. okay yeah, yep here look, look at them one at a time yeah, so, there you go. First. so while, while that's going um i'll go ahead and start my deck so looking for a reinforcements card it literally will say reinforcements yep There you go. I say it's going. Uh, no, that no, is no, just that move, is guys. not. That yeah. is just move. I apologize. Oh, that's nice. Seriously. Ah, there it is. It says reinforcements right there. So this is going into my hand. Yep. And then and I'm going to shuffle these. Shuffle I believe I shuffle more. right. Yeah. Yeah. Shuffle and then put these. So. Here we go. And I'll take a look at yours. Yep, go for it. Tell me if they're any good. I really haven't even really looked at <laughs> So these might as well be napkins. <laughs> <laughs> so how's it look? How, how's the game look on camera to y'all? Because let me tell you, in person, this is a love a affair yeah. to this game. Like. Yeah. The dual layer, every like it's the production quality is just stupid in the best way possible. <laughs> Maybe it could have been a bigger board. That'd be good. Yeah, you fill That's up sarcasm. By the way, cut. Uh, now, are we, if we're going around the table talking about our agendas, did we want to move on? To uh, this yeah. Okay. So done, 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 and now over there to Paul. Go yeah. for it, dude. So mine is called uh, more security. And uh, the first thing I get to do is I get to add these. Oh, we can't quite see them, so I'll just do this. We get to add these S cards to my deck. Um, so I'll put them in there, and I will shuffle that in just a little bit. And then it also tells me here, more safety and differentiation to SPD. More safety is not really like a thing. It's just kind of giving me, the player, the note that, like, this is going to increase safety. Like, whatever that means necessarily. I'll, we'll find out. I imagine that's removing unrest and poverty. Like safety is in. You don't have to walk that edge of the DR box. I'm yeah. guessing. I'm, is what I'm seeing here a lot of right. police mobilization. Yeah. I'm seeing yeah, a yeah. lot of that kind of stuff. And then it also says differentiation, which we start the game. We're both in the government, but this just adds uh, more, more different, more different ways of doing things. Yeah, because y'all are somewhat similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So it differentiates between the two of them. Yeah. Right. So now um, I also have the ability to add any of these white speech bubbles. Oh, any of them? Any of them. It okay. says any white speech bubble on the zero space, which means now I have to think. A so what bit. he's doing right now, just FYI, here I'll fill he's time while thinking he reads, really is hard. he is looking at his, the player ape. And again, these are faction specific. So that it tells you these are the things that if you win it, or you could do that, yep. right? Depending on what it is. I have made my decision. Okay, go for it. I'm going to put economy, okay. this, or what we called industry earlier, but the yeah. economy. That's going to go. That's going to go right there. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, and until the end of the round, uh, I get to do reactions for free. 
We haven't talked oh, about reactions wow. yet, but reactions in the general sense, we'll get to it when it's time to do one, are a way of being able to, like, as it says, react to somebody doing a thing normally that requires you to spend something from this reserve bank. But as you can see, I don't have anything there. So that's what's really good about this power is for this entire round, I get to react to people for free. Nice. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that right there. And then after that, you draw your faction cards. Yep. So I right? got, I got a shot. So two timeline cards. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, I got to get my reinforcements card. That's all public information, right? Yep. And then the other two faction cards. What are they? So uh, they're that one and that one. <laughs> oh, man, okay. that's good choices. How many do we draw? Three. 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 It's right. a base number of three, three unless you're told otherwise. Yeah. Now, if you will give me a moment. <laughs> I'm going to take a couple of these. We'll reshuffle them in. And hey, guess what? These aren't in the game. If uh, really, they're all. That's funny. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> okay. So, did anybody else have a start of impulse action? Oh, a start of impulse. Oh, like like in there. Oh, like the, the agenda. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. No. So I think okay. I think you're clear. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. Okay. <laughs> well, give me a second before yeah. you do that. I'm going to talk about thing, man. how the cards work yeah. for everybody out there. Okay. Um, your agenda goes face up over there. I will put that, hold on, it starts one, one, two, good. And let me go ahead and get these ready for y'all there. All right. Right, okay. All right. Uh, I didn't mean to grab two yellow ones, sorry. Let's do that instead. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna push these over, and I'm gonna bring, uh, I'll bring my reinforcements one since yeah. everybody saw that one already. Any? I mean, you yeah, don't have to. One. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. I want to show y'all what these cards look like and how they're different. Okay. This is a faction card. We know it's a faction card because it has my color in the top left corner, first and a little, off. And a little hat. And it has a little hat, IKA the banner that says the DMVP. Yeah. Okay. These two are timeline cards. We know that also. So DNVP and these also have the timeline on it. Whether they are the base gray ones or the uh, part of the game we're in, yellow, orange, or brown being yellow in that case. Okay. We're going to now enter the impulse phase. And when we do, everybody has some number of cards between, let's say, three and seven, maybe three and six, something like that. On your turn, you must play a card and you must do mm -hmm. what stuff on it. Right. You can never pass. So it, when you pass, it's because you have no cards left. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be asymmetric in that regard because we all have different numbers. However... <laughs> Just know, on your turn, you must play a card. Yeah. Now, let me go ahead and talk about the difference. Let me separate these a little bit to show. These two are timeline cards, again, okay? And this is a faction card. A faction card, you can do one of three things on your turn. You may play it for the event. The event is the stuff in green. Do that, okay? So if you're familiar with CDGs or card-driven war games, yeah. then this is going to be familiar to you. Do it for the event. And if certain things, it'll say, then remove this card from the game. That's if you do it for the event, yeah. okay? In addition to that, <coughs> if it says may or can or or, you have a choice, sort of. And what I mean by sort of is... You have to do the option that you can do the most of. So if this said instead of and, it said or, if I can't do the or, then I have to do the thing I can do more of. Okay? Mm -hmm. That is a universal rule in the game, first off. So, event. That is option number one. Option number two is I can do this, the debate. So we've already kind of covered the debate track a little bit. So if I want to, I can move issues along the axis out here again, pushing it towards black. You'll notice that there are two numbers. There is a, uh, a, a big circle and a little circle. The big circle and little circle are used with a little, let's try this again. 
when you choose to do this for a debate, you do one issue, two spots towards your side, and a different issue, the other number. You can't do one issue six. You How you mix them up, you choose. One issue is going to be four, one's going to be two. If it were this card, one issue is three, one issue is one, one and two. You get the idea. I don't want to belabor this. Okay, there are three issues out here. I could go one, two, three, four, two. There you go. That's my, that's it. That's literally, or the only difference is which one I move for and which one I move to. Don't that's move. the only option I have in this case. Don't do either of those. Or, 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 or that. Yeah. The third option that I can do on my turn is I can choose actions. Okay. Actions only cares about the number in the big circle, even if it's smaller mm -hmm. than the little number. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I would get one action point, three action points, two action points. What are these action points for, you might be asking? Well, you'll notice on your player board, it says event, debate, or actions. So these numbers up here are how many action points it requires to take that action. That is going to differ between the various factions, and these might differ a little bit between the actual actions themselves. Because if you're in the government, you can't do a coup, for instance, okay? <laughs> well, not, in, not in your own country. So the number of action points that you can spend, you can mix and match, unless it says you can only do once per impulse, which in this case is demonstration only once per impulse. I can, If I had four action points, I still could only do this one once, okay? But I could mobilize three times and do one demonstration, for example, okay? So is that clear as far as how that works? Remember, mm -hmm. you always, always have the option, unless you're at two, to book a action point, or maybe two action points, depending on where you are on the reserve track. Those are action points that you can book for either reactions to use or for a future turn. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. All right, awesome. So that is faction cards. Do one of those three things, action points, debate, event. And if you, if it says remove it from the game, it doesn't mean discard, that means from the game. Okay, so we've talked about those now. Now these, the difference between a timeline card and a faction card is you get to do two of the things, one of which must be the event. Mm -hmm. If you play a faction card, you will <coughs> see the exclamation point. You were going to do the event. Yeah. The only option you have now is do I do the action or, you know, the action points or debate. And the other option you have is do I do that other thing first or after the event? Those are the only options you have in that case. The event is going to happen. Sometimes the event is good for you, and other times it's like, which kidney would you like to get punched in? Totally. Yeah. All right. And obviously, uh, then remove it from the game. If it says so, you get the idea. Yeah. So that is how an impulse works. So again, Ken is going to start. We know he has a before the impulse thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to play that card, that specific card. Can't be any of his cards. It's the one that says that he plays. He does that. Then and nobody else has one of those cards. Then he's going to actually start the first impulse. One, one, one. Continue around and around and around until we're all out of cards. Then we will move into the politics phase. All that clear? Yes. You ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. Cool. I'm going to shuffle these back in. And Ken, go ahead and show your work. Yeah, and so I think we agreed that I, I need to play. It has to be a party card that I play before. Right, so so yeah. re read that exactly. Draw one more KPD card this round and play one at the beginning of the impulse phase. So it sounds like that should be a party card. Yeah, right? it not, cannot not be a timeline time card. card for yep. the pre Now, in your case, it, it's kind of, it doesn't matter because of the fact that you're first. Um, right, and you play right, the other yeah. one next. Right, but, but that's it, right. Yeah. But yes, it must be a party card. So and I'm... I'm going to play the Sailors of Keel. Nope. There. There you go. That'll work. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so, uh, it is, I could play it for two action points, but I'm going to play it for the event instead. Mm -hmm. Go. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move two KPD units from my supply. They can't be 
out of supply. They have to be in my current supply. Right. Um, to any one city. Uh, the city I'm going to choose is Munich. Yes, sir. So the idea here is to protect that council. An excellent choice, sir. Yeah. So <laughs> um, in addition... I'm in favor of that choice. I'm going to place one of these. I have to place it in the same city, which is Munich. You can see there's not any spots to place. And the way the game rule works at that point is that when I can't place one, I take one out, and the one I'll take out is the Zentrum. Yeah. What? Oh, sorry, that was a little wide. A well, terrible choice. I'm in alliance with the, the left. I, I mean, do not SCP recommend that either. choice. We're, 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 oh, our okay, so hold on. Show that worker again, because I'm a visual guy. Yep. You placed it, and by placing it, you mean you remove his. Exactly. And that was That's the cost right. of that. If yep. it said place two, one would have gone back to the supply for the removal, and the second is the placing. That's right. All right. And also, I would like to point out that these, the icons on those, yep. they are a one strength unit, effectively, That's right. paramilitary. The different icons correspond to different cards and specific yep. things. These are still one strength unit yep. for the KPD, but they, and notice they have one die on them. If they have two die, it's a two strength unit. You get the idea, obviously different faction, but you get the idea. Um, but yeah, those, all of these are always uh, military or paramilitary. There's nothing yeah. inherently different between the helmet and the fist, except there might be cards that say- It's icon specific. Yeah, might as well right. just say A, B, or C. Right, but again, thematically, yeah, I'm yeah, sure right. they have a reason, right? right? Okay. So my card has an and, Okay. though it is optional. Okay. So typically you, you do the event in order from top to bottom. Yep. Um, and if there's an or, you might choose one or the other. In this case, it's an and that I can do, but I don't know why I wouldn't put a society marker out if I can. Okay. So I get to choose one of these soldiers markers. So you guys just fish out the one with the K with the KPD. You know what? It. Hold on. Before you do this, I'm actually going to do something I wasn't going to do. Yeah, zoom in on Yeah, I'm going to show people that all this stuff that's off Let's camera. Yeah. So just for context. So sure. a moment, let me get, because again, I didn't have this, this part ready. Okay, you're doing a great job. There you go. All right, so if you take a look, this is all the stuff that is off camera, right? Out of there. Um, and you can see that they are sorted by, these are citizens, these are soldiers, these are the poor. So whatever the thing is that it calls out, that's what it's talking about, the workers. So you're almost always in, in want to put out the thing that is has your icon, your faction icon. So mm -hmm. you said soldiers? Is that what you said? Soldiers, yeah. yeah. So okay. we've got this right here, and it is time to what, zoom in here? Yep. Right. So it this track is for these markers. They come in through the left. They go out like a lion or a That's lamb, right. whatever. Anyway, and these will get resolved left or right when we actually yeah. get there. During step three of the Republic phase, I will score a victory point because I have that marker is out Provided there. Provided it's still on that track. As long as, as, long as it doesn't yeah. go away. I like your chances of that being Yeah, best. I think for one round, I At feel least, good. At least, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then remove this card from the game. So do we okay. have a out of the game? Uh, spot? I, just, I can tuck it, it over there. Off sure. Um, All good. All right, Buffalo Bill. All right. It. Okay, so y'all are going to have to give me a second, talk amongst yourselves. Was that Oh, sorry. That was your pregame. Yeah. Or pre- Impulse. Now the yep. impulse phase actually starts. Okay. I'm going to shut up, let you do while I go through my cards and try and figure out what the hell I'm going to do. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so this is another one that I could play uh, for an event, but this, or for, for the event, but this it, time I'm going to play it for action points. It's a faction card, right? And point out that it's not a timeline card. It is not a timeline card. That's you right. Tell. You, it's pink. That's, That's right. right. And so, shut up. the little hat. This one uh, is six action points, oh. which is something I like. Oof. And so <laughs> we're no, going to do, do a fairly simple set of actions. So <coughs> I can mobilize for one point. And I can mobilize twice. But one an important thing about using action points is they all have to be used in the same city. Yes. So I'm going to mobilize two units to Essen here. And that means I have four action points left. And with those four action points, I'm going to perform a coup in essence. So mm. coup costs four points, which means it'll use all the rest of my points. Um, and so I can only do this if I'm, if I'm in opposition, which I am. You can tell because I've got the big opposition marker here on my board. And so eventually I'm going to roll some dice. 
I will roll one die for every KPD unit, minus a die for every opposition unit, there are no <coughs> opposition units. So I've got two dice to start. I get an extra die if there's unrest in the city, which there is, so there's three dice. Mm. And if there's poverty in the city, I'm rolling in a plus one. Uh. And so I'm rolling three dice at a plus one, and you can see this result table here. If I can manage to roll a five, I will place a council and an instable state marker yep, as you. part of the coup. Yep. So now everybody has an opportunity to react. Um, okay, I choose not to. Okay, now you don't have a, a base in Essen. Fair, but there there can be there political can be cards people is, that's right. that don't have to be. But if it's a, uh, there are certain things that if you have a base, a base meaning a That's unit right. or a, uh, a figure out yep. there. So That's, I elect not to. Now, neither SPD nor Zentrum have reserve points, but they may have cards that will work. So and to react, to react, you need both. You need a base and a reserve point. And Paul also has the rule breaker for his, uh, Paul certainly for his does. agenda. That he right. doesn't he can, need the Paul reserve. Paul is fully can, aware of he that. He can make me re-roll one time. Sure. I will not react. Uh, I will react, and because I have more security that allows me to do reaction police raid for zero. Reaction, reaction police raid. I, I used a lot of words there. My reaction, yeah, it's, my reaction uh, for flavor text is called police raid. Okay. So I can do reaction police raid. Normally I need to have one over here in yep. the reserve, but I can do it for zero. Okay. So I'm nice. going to do that. So I get to roll one die plus one die for any police that are in the city. Mm. No police, but the price is right, so I'm going to do it. Okay. Might as well, my friend. Okay. Yep. If I roll a seven on this die, then things go very poorly for you. All right. Yeah, all right. I mean... <laughs> so, but you're not rolling, you have no modifiers? Nope, I just have this one. Well, on a six-sided die, it's hard to roll a seven. Well, but look, I'm just saying, okay. with yeah. that attitude, yeah. A five, a five or a six are also not great for me. So yeah, yeah, right, so roll high. Oh, uh, no, boy. It's got to be in the box. What is this super bouncy felt you have in this thing? Uh, I, I've i never noticed the felt to be super bouncy before <laughs> myself. I'm just too strong. <laughs> strong hand of the government. He's oh, powerful. look at that. There's a six. Oh, All right. that, does, that takes a die away. It takes from a me. die away from so me. Only rolling two dice. Yep. All right. So as you can see, uh, action. point, Paul? Yes, what? Point. point oh, board. yeah, right there. There you go. Point it. Minus one die. Yeah, there we well go. Done. All right. All right. I worked hard on that roll. Yeah, so I get to roll recess. two <laughs> dice now. And really a stand up die? Like, I mean, I, oh, wow, wow, this is serious. Get He's got to get a I'm getting a in plus there. one here. So that there appears we go. to be a seven. That'll work. Yeah. All right. So walk us through what a seven is. So if I have at least a six, I will place a council's marker. Oh, no. In the city. That is halfway to winning. And I will place Come an on. instable state threat in the Deutsches Reich. Yeah. So. Guys, do something. And then this card goes into my discard. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll see it again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I felt like that sixth strength was like. So that answers my too question. Too good not to use. That answers my question for the audience. Um, because you used it for the uh, action points. Yes. What I might refer to as ops points based on, on other, other other games. That that's right. Card-driven war games and yep. stuff. Yep. Um, because you used it for the action points, uh, you don't have to follow that red exclamation down at the bottom. Correct. That's there right. Only if used for the event. Yeah. yeah and right. of course, the timeline cards are always used for the event. Yeah. So they often say remove. Yeah. And they will always be removed. Just to remind case. you of that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, no, that's really good. I don't think. No, God, no, that, no, we, no, mm, oh, I have to. You sure do. Yeah, so the interesting I thing, like, talking about, well, no, so you and I have been playing Twilight Struggle. Yeah. Right, we're playing, we're streaming it tomorrow, right? Yep. And you know how, like, there are cards that you draw that you want to hide from your opponent. <laughs> that's, uh, Burn with fire. Yeah, yeah. Or, or that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can't do it. Because there ain't no hiding they timeline. Are, they cards. are a coming. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I saw them already. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's that. Now, if we were playing a, uh, we want to talk about strategy for a second. If we were playing a, a friendly game where we maybe get to rewind time a little bit because the game state hasn't changed, I have this guy, Gustav. Part mm. of my minor part. We are not. We are not playing that friendly. Thank God. Friendly. Uh, <laughs> did you forget, <laughs> to, you um, forget to use him? I sure did. Yeah, okay. The good news is, 
I'm never going to place any more councils, so it's fine. Never? What? Never? That's, just, that's big only, words. I'm only placing two. That's it. That's considering all. how you won. What? I'm just not going to place anymore. Okay. Sure. Is I'm just going to hang out in Munich at Essen. <laughs> Paul's been playing Strike. <laughs> Uh, and that uh, that's it. That's all I want to do. Just uh, those are nice spots. I, I mean, yeah, to yeah, just retire. I'm all done. Yeah, yeah. makes that's sense. It. I'm you're basically just, like, just gonna ah, you're just like, like a cool. string from yeah. here on out. Like, yeah. look, I got okay, cool. fomented change, and then I'm ready to just step back. All yeah. right. Well, I am playing a party card because ain't no party like a DNVP <laughs> party. <laughs> like and DMV party is good. <laughs> yeah, like ain't no party like uh, a communist Fry party. Corp, Oberlon. I am going to play it as the event, so not doing that. Yeah. Uh, and so this card will get removed from the game yep. uh, afterwards. So I can choose one city. I choose Munich. Why? Choose a city where you don't have to fight me. <laughs> <coughs> Berlin is twice as good as Munich. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to listen to him. Uh, he actually makes a fair point. I can't argue. Especially if you're putting one of those two-strength guys in there. You're going to get to roll four dice in here if you coup. Yeah, all right, fine. I mean... I I, yeah. I, I so am getting manipulated by Ken. <laughs> I know I am. Well, here's the other... Okay. So, I get to place two units yep. uh, in that city and then perform a coup. Uh -huh. And if I'm successful in a coup, I basically do what you just did, yeah. right? The important thing to note, these yeah. council markers... Uh, and these regimes, so the... They're all bad. Uh, only one of those can exist in a city. Yeah, yeah. that's a good rule to and know. You, you don't want those out, so... Right. Well, 100%, yeah. but Berlin counts as two. It yeah. does. Yeah. It does. Well, uh, the other thing is, you'd be rolling a lot fewer dice if you... I would, because he it. has units there. Yeah. And that's the... That... That's the only reason I'm listening to Ken is because he plus, has units. Plus, there. Paul can take your regime right out, just like take it out right, just like that, so, just like that, just like that. Can roll that. Uh, can roll, so, can use. Uh, so what's, that's what's, that. that, what's our friend's name? What's his name? Oh, uh, who? Oh, Gustav. Yeah, Gustav, or, Gustav Stressman. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So I can well, move probably these more Stressman from the supply or from cities. Okay. Yep. So if you take a look, supply. I have that. Yeah. Okay. So I what I don't have are these that are over there. I I, yeah. I like them, but only in due time. So you have two ones and a two. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the two, a one and a two because again I get to do both of those. Yeah. Okay. And then I get to cuckoo cuckoo. Mm -hmm. And you so, know what to do. There we go. There and there. All right. Now for the coup for me works very similar. Sorry about that. Uh, doesn't matter how many action points because this is part of the event. Opposition only, meaning I am. So if I were government, I cannot cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> only once per impulse. Okay, cool. I get one per unit. However, again, looking at this, I have three units, three strikes, three, strength. three, three dice yep. there, right? Okay. And then I lose a die for every opponent's strength. Strength. So I would actually only roll one die in that case. But I would get an extra die if there is unrest. And hey, wouldn't you know? So I would actually roll two. I'm rolling four. Four seems better. Yeah, it, it, it does. Uh, I can't argue that. Twice as good. Um, and then if there was poverty there in the chosen city or if I spend two action points. Now. I would like to point out this is where reserves come in, right? So yeah. look where Ken's pointing at up there. I have one. If I had a second, I could spend them both and get a plus one on my die. Could be okay? handy. And also should point out, it's only your highest die roll that matters here. Mm, yep. If you roll double sixes or multiple sixes, each six rolled adds a plus one to a six. Yep. So if you roll three sixes, that's that an eight. That is an eight. Yeah. And there are cards or reactions that can knock you down a roll or a number, and so, hey, it's still a seven. So in my case, hey, six or better is ideal because a four or five doesn't work for me because it would add unrest to Berlin, and there's already an unrest, and you can't have multiple unrest in the same city. So, mm -hmm. all that said, four dice, please. And here we go. You going to uh, use your auto-react, Paul? Uh, my auto-react, yes, I am. Oh, Thanks, Shrek. 
Uh, so going. John gets a chance. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and this is something you need to make sure that you give everybody an opportunity to yeah. react. Yeah. I am about to have a coup, kachu, of four dice. You Would get, you like I to react? I am not reacting. You get to say that two more times, and then we don't say coup, coup, kachu anymore for the rest of the night. I will react. Okay. So, uh, because I get to do it for free, that's a four. That is no effect. Okay, as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> you, sir? How it is. Do you choose? Uh, no, I, you I, elect I, not to? I can't, because Paul already reacted. Oh, fair point. Yeah. Only one reaction is allowed. And also, yeah. uh, I, I use this example in uh, our, our pre-play uh, privately here, is when you play a card, you're playing it, in this case, I'm playing it for the event, yeah. right? If somebody were to react, they're playing it as the reaction. That goes technically on top of the card. Yep. These resolve top to bottom. So the reaction will fire first. And if that negates the action, ta-ta for now. You're done. Okay? Yeah. So just FYI, that's how that plays out. All right. All that said. You can roll poorly here. You got I, this. I probably will. That's a five. That sucks. Well, yeah, you get to place an unrest, though. No. Upside. Now you get to. Now there's. Can there be? A, there can't be a second unrest in there. Correct. So. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm Sad. less concerned that you ripped my card and more that you just spit all over it. Yeah, I, I, I totally <laughs> did. Sorry about that. Maybe Uli can send me a replacement card. Yeah. Right. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, that would be. Yeah. You ever been called John Boy? I have, yeah. Uh, okay. Don't, don't do it. Do it. Don't no, do I, it. I'm not going to. If he hadn't, no, I would have. True. Inaugural. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, okay. Do something. By my Look German grandfather, going... actually. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hold up. Where in Germany is he from? Um, Frankfurt. Let's, let's go to Frankfurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. All right. I think that turn. part of history is muddled. So, yeah, so. Okay. Oh, God, that's dark. Okay, all right, go. Well, all right, um, oh, so <laughs> so your failure on the roll yeah, um, helps sorry. you out a little bit. It, it did help me out. You're welcome. Things it was, were getting oppressive. It was a now success in our about It was, yeah. You can worry about things like poverty. Exactly. Well, th thanks for saying that, because I am going to do help for the poor yeah. when I was originally going to do a state of emergency. Oh. Um, uh, so It wasn't great. We're going to play a party card uh, Wait, for, for the event. Okay. Um, and this is called Help for the Poor. Okay. Um, so I get to remove poverty from any one city. So we're going to go to Essen. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to remove poverty from yep. that city. Okay, gone. I mean, obviously what's happening there is that the, the workers have united, and that's why it's more prosperous it's, now. It's been well, all for now. Yes, comrade. That's right. Yeah, for I mean, now. Yeah, we control the means of production now. Um, <laughs> for now. Um, and optional, I could add an inflation crisis. Um, and remove poverty from two more cities, which I'm not going to do. Okay. Um, because I don't want to add. Well, that's what these are called. These are called the crisis markers. Yeah. Well, no, they're threat markers. Okay. They're threat markers. We okay, collectively okay. don't want that to go up. So, um, we're holding off. I th I think I will do that. Let's add an inflation. Wow. Ooh. And remove this poverty. Yeah. Okay. I would like to point out there are you two slides left, and then and do you just get and the last one's a roll? Nope. And the last one is I get to add two of my SBDs to one of those cities. Ah. So, do so I want to remove? Or... We're going to go to Essen. Okay. So I'm not. I'm actually not going to be removing any. Adding, I would be removing. Well, you would no. You would remove one oh, and then add one. He's removing both, both of them. Um. But what I think I'll do is I'll remove KPD. Okay. From, Essen. Um, Yep, and add an SPD. Okay, yeah. um, so that was you had you got to place two guys, yep. and one pl placing one guy was knocking him out, and then this, yep. and then placing your second guy. Let's get these guys exactly. out of here. Yep. Um, okay, we're gonna do something like this just to make you feel better. Yep, that's I feel so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so since this was a party card, yeah. I can uh, perform the event or debate or the actions. Right. So I, I just decided to do the event, and this card gets removed from the game. Yep. Right? So. John Paul. That's Pope to you. <laughs> so we're going to go with... Just the ring! You, All right. We're going to go with the... Uh, oh, man. I, the Reich's execution? I think it's how you would say that? Man, uh, you you must be from Hamburg. That, that the, I, I caught the, I caught the, I the accent. Hamburg, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. So uh, this is... I'm going to play it for the event. Okay. It says the event is only playable if I am government. 
and I yes, am government. Um, so the first thing I get to do is uh, remove the council from remove councils from a city. Oh, thank God! Whoa, <laughs> you're nice. out of here. Nice. Yeah, well, I'm glad. Well, it, it's going to be a tough game for you since you're not going to play any more. Let's just say less. Let's just say lessons were learned from our <laughs> previous game. Uh, then I also get to dissolve uh, any uh, uh, whatever these are called. This, this unit was right. this a unit. That's a worker. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? I mean, I, I mean. <laughs> I'm familiar with how your your stance on workers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're just, that's just the, pieces to be moved around the chessboard. That's, not, the, that's not how we feel about them. That's not the only unit at this table there, Ken. All Those right. are soldiers. The long so, arm of the law. Uh, so, would you? Which would you rather I get rid of? Oh, you're giving him a choice. Doesn't yeah. matter. To me. Or is it the yeah, illusion of choice? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's the illusion yeah. of choice. Uh, all right, so we're gonna get rid of because yep. I don't really know what effectively what yep. the difference is. This is where um, multiple playthroughs would come in handy, being yes. able to know the, the, the implications. For sure. The government, you don't really understand the workers. No, not at all. Why do I need? To. Yeah. Look, the, the, I put them in the factory, and then money comes out, and right. that's that's how it works. Does that say I get to draw a card? Uh, it does say you get to draw a card. Okay. And then, well, well he's Luke, energized well, you. Mean, yeah. yeah. Losing a council is a significant. Do you yeah. want to flip over here, or should I just grab it? Because it says I get to grab soldiers from here. Uh, I can just grab it. You want me to just grab it from there? Did you want to? Flip oh no, no, you're okay. fine. I already showed. Very good. Yeah. So then, I from off camera here, I'm going to grab soldiers. Uh, and it says I get to put that right here. So we're going to go in through here. We're going to exit through the gift shop. So right there. A lot of stuff going on with soldiers right now. So okay. this means every round I will get to put down. Uh, I will get as long as it's still in here. I'll get to put down someone here in one of these cities. Yep. yep. Uh, then remove this card from the game. And uh, to touch on, uh, Martin says DMVP should have waited till he had another point in reserve so he could add a plus one and a coup die. Yeah. I said, not not going to be super strong strategy. Um, look, I'm not going to make an excuse, but I'm about to do that 100%. Last 36 hours, I've lived in this room, changing out cameras and microphones. And getting every... Strategy is the last yeah. thing I'm focused on today. I, I, like was, I like how PPK pointed out that you're on theme, too. So. What? Edward did the failed uh, cop push of 1919. Oh, really? yeah. I, that's all I was trying to do. I'm trying to mimic history. Here. I really feel like I, I am so far below everybody else in their understanding and memory of history. Like, I have, these are all very funny observations. They're going. Well, see, right for me, like, I know how, where Germany was in I, World War One. Wait, is it somewhere else now? <laughs> And then I understand German history from 1933 exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there is a huge gap in my knowledge between yeah. 1918 yeah. and 1933, yep. which I'm fascinated by this. Now, I I've already I've already started watching YouTube ah, good uh, down shows down. Yeah. and and documentaries on on the Weimar Republic because I find this fascinating. You right? could end up on the wrong algorithm if you're not careful. But... Yeah, and make sure I'm not searching for the wrong words. Yeah, but yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, totally. And yeah, the uh yeah, uh Shrey, am I seeing this much dual layer on the main the board? Thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, you it's are. Everywhere. Um everywhere you see difference in colors. So yeah. there, 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 all the insets, these, yeah. these, those. Uh, up there in the DR track, the round like, track. Like nothing is gonna get shifted around it with just with, with nudging the board. Yeah. Bit. It's it's insane. I would it do really it, is. but Edward would explode <laughs> if I. You re he mind. really would, yeah. and yeah. So, all right, comrade. So right. on me. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna play a timeline event. It is the Spanish flu. <laughs> <laughs> Historically, I think happened a little bit later. <laughs> yeah, but you know, but it's okay. bad times. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm gonna let the event happen first. Okay. So we will roll some dice to add a poverty As to the board. As it shows. Okay. Yep. All right. So it's going to be crisis roll. All right. Are okay. you rolling? Every day. Uh, hang on. Oh, Stop. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Um, I uh, I get to. Oh, are you are you doing a crisis roll? Right. I'm yeah. just adding he's, a poverty. That's adding, adding poverty. But that's not an action in a city. Okay. So, so no, that was yeah. number six. Yeah. yeah. Hamburg. Hamburg. Yep. Poverty. Okay. And then I can place a society marker from the poor. So I will place the one that has KPD on it, which yeah. allows me to place or move a unit. Put that right in like that. Yep. Whew. And then I'll take my actions, and I'm going to go... You get one more. Two actions, and they'll be in Humber. This is going to be a long game, one so you here, better use it. And one here. Why is we'll it? do that. Okay. 
Okay, very good. So did you put those two? And that was not the result of a die roll. You just got to you do just that. You just placed them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. Yep. I'm good. You can tell I've got my eagle eyes here. Pause. Pause. You did the event. Now you can do a second thing, right? I just did my second thing. I used two action points to move those here. Oh, apologies. Yeah. Okay, cool. Just yeah. making sure. Sorry, making sorry. Sure. Yeah, uh, I was removed too, from the game because of the event. Removed right. from two. Okay. Removed from the game because of the event. Exactly. Carl right. Oberg says Babylon Berlin is an excellent show on Netflix. I told you. You told me about it. I so I, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna be starting that either. Is it about tonight? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's so. a it's a police drama, pretty more or less. Hmm. That's set during the Weimar Republic. Yeah, yeah. so oh, that sounds yeah, awesome. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? Totally. It's like so. later. I think maybe the first year is like 28, 29. So it's okay. later on, but yeah. it's... Stop yeah. telling me about good shows I need to watch. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, okay, I right. Okay. I, do anything I, I, else. So, man, this is, this is going to be a hard one for me today. Um, you got an uphill battle. Uh... I mean, the board's not for us. The board's not looking as scary as it was, you know, 10 minutes ago. True, except for the VR, which I can't. Yeah, see. all right. I, I want to wait on that. that. So, so I have DR? a great card yeah, for later. Oh, yeah, that sounds so great. You know what? I need to do it anyway. So bad. Um, you know, just uh, just a reminder. You guys can do the. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking at it. Okay, now. I'm I'm just just pointing that out. What's he pointing at? Oh, he's well, trying to Because if we don't do it, we have to add a blockade. Yeah. Look, do we want? Let's let's mention that for a second, and we haven't really gone over that. Oh, uh, sure. Mean, uh, well, crisis rules doesn't seem like such a big deal. Uh, I don't mind the crisis rules. <laughs> if you guys think the action will cover it. So. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, I am going to play Treaty of Apollo. Oh. So it, this is a timeline card. So I'm going to go ahead and do the event first. Okay. Uh, place the card next to the foreign affairs card. And... Well, it's only available for going. Um, the action is. Right, okay. Right? right? Like, I can't do this, and the KPD can't do this. But... But you have two to do action, that. I, yeah, I ha it has to go out there. Yep. Uh, two action points, and you place two of my party members out uh, into the city cities and then you if they succeed on their role they score two points kpd gets one in parliament and reinforcements to the government supply and then remove it from the game and does so, it say that you get a bonus if there are soviet flags in play yeah if the soviets yeah guys uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't guys me yeah. upside that was your nah. best sales pitch that's guys, it, just listen. guys. You just walk into a room and you go, guys. Soviet flags are, yeah. the, are the way to go. Get those things out there. Um, <laughs> and then you get one action point slash one earth, one, or you might debate. Or, or, or might debate, right? Yeah. Okay, so that said, that will go. Now, my question, and this I'm not 100% sure on, do you choose one of the two foreign affairs? Uh, that I'm not sure on either. I'll, I know I'll, it, I'll, I'll look that up after my okay, turn. Yeah. Okay, all right. So that said, uh, I think <sighs> this is, this is not a foreign affair. So you it could, is. you could choose to do this. It's available, but it's not a foreign affair. It is it essentially says, a foreign affairs action. You have to be able to you have to be in government to do it. No, uh, see the action says foreign affairs. Oh so, yeah. Just, look at me. It just probably doesn't Don't trigger. What, what is the, it's the treaty of what? Rapala. Uh -huh. Rapala. I made a mistake there. I should give him back one cuckoo could chew. Thank Let's you. Say that, <laughs> I get a seat in government? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And like I said, I I couldn't not play it, yeah, right? I, mean, That's, yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah. So, um, and if it do, if it's not resolved, it just hangs out, basically? Yeah. I think it just stays there forever. because The only thing I'm confused on these, on these cards is the action points, because I know how to do all this, but if I... Is it a party card, a timeline card? This is a... That's you up. can use it when you're taking action. You know what? Right. Yeah. So if you played a four-strength action, I think you could probably do both. Yeah, uh, I'll okay. buy that. Yeah, because yeah. you take two foreign action, foreign affairs. Oh, actions. so I play a card for the ops. Yeah. In yeah. Okay, that's the cost. Yeah. That's my action. Okay. It's just, one action point. Just bank it. In. Just bank it. Defer until it, yeah. the next time. Yep. It makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Done. Uh, so that's it, John. You're up. Yeah. And I'm just. I'm fairly certain we we figured that out, but I'm just going to double check it. So, John, go ahead. Sit back and take your turn. Yep. All right. So I'm going to do Prussian stability. Um, so this defines Prussia, by the way. So Prussia is Hamburg, Konigsberg, Berlin, Breslau, Köln, and Essen. Um, 
So it looks like. Okay. Yeah. So not Rostock and not the four southern provinces. Right. Okay. So, uh, so I'm gonna. It's the timeline card. So I'm gonna do event and debate. Um, so first, the Zentrum places two of your own in Prussia somewhere. So two of. Yep. And remember, so I can I can tell you what Prussia is again. Hamburg. You know what? Um, hold on. Yeah. I are they handy? They are. You know what's coming. Yeah, X's. Oh. Go. So, okay, so this is going to be Prussia? Yep. Or not Prussia? Yeah, this is Prussia. Okay, so this Hamburg. This is Prussia. Konigsberg. Yep. Berlin. Breslau. Have a good one, Harry. Thanks Cole. for hanging out. And Essen. So we, we are using this to mark off just for this action, or are those X's going to stay there? The no, whole that's no, just for this. This is for you. Is. Yeah. So you can choose a, uh, any of those. A couple of Two. things while you're thinking of that. Yeah. Um, we are correct. You can choose the current or any other that is out there for the okay. foreign affairs action. Yeah. Um, also, uh, just reading chat, uh, I might be behind here, but it says SPD needs to remove a second poverty for their event. I, I did. I removed two. Okay, yeah, cool. Did. All yeah. right, yeah, good. Essen okay. And just, just making sure. I yeah. added one, which yeah. may be why their count is off. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll go here. Um, and welcome, Seth. You said two. Off. I had to add two. Two to R Prussia, and then I add two. Okay. Um, it doesn't say they have to be different cities, so... Um, oh, if it doesn't say, then it doesn't say. Yeah. 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 So I think I'm going to go up to Berlin. Makes sense. Yeah. Both with both. Both. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Whoa. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey. Thank you. And I get to remove unrest from any one city in Prussia, so I will remove the unrest. Are you sure? Well, yeah, because you can't. <laughs> well, kind of, because that gives you extra rolls, right? I yeah. Mean, Remember, whatever. he loses points if there are regimes on the board. Oh, fair. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. So let's get rid of that unrest. Let's settle things down in Berlin a little bit, um, and then I'm going to debate. So this is the first time we're doing a debate action. Mm -hmm. um, it's values are three and two? I have three and two. So I'm going to move. That's the, a great card for you. Yeah. Let me see the discards when you're, or the out of game when you're done. I'm okay. going to remove secu move security to my three, which is the habit. Okay, so red is here, moving that to three. Yep, and protecting public law to two. Two. Yep. And that was for both of yours. All right, cool. And this goes in my discard. Does this discards go face up or face Dis down? Discards, discards face up. Face up. Okay. So, how much uh, table talk do we want uh, to have going give on? Give me here? one second. Sure. Because uh, I. I was so no, you, you no, you get to add th remove three. Remove one from any city, and if you oh, do that, and, and two, two more, more cities. There, oh, I know why I didn't do it because there wasn't another one. No, there was. There was one in Konigsberg. Oh, we missed it. Oh, poverty. Yeah. Okay, there this you one. Go. This one is new. It came that after your okay. action. Fair enough. This one was there. Got Thank it. you, yeah. peanut Thank gallery. You. Thank, you. Thank you. All right. Cool. All right. Now, uh, how much table oh, talk do we want cities. to allow? Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I need certain people to do certain things. Sure. Yeah. Right. There, there's nothing wrong with that. But I was going to ask you what you were going to do. I so. really need your help to make sure this does not get out of control. Does that mean well, I think we more, all need to do that. Kind of putting more threat markers in there. Am I allowed to tell him what I've got in oh, my Oh gosh. Hand? Hey guys. Speaking of things being bad. Oh no, we did put one in there. Okay, yeah, that yeah, makes no, me feel better. Okay. Yeah. I, all right. I don't think you should add any more to that. I, because, I also don't think I should. Because if we don't complete Treaty of Versailles, we're adding one. Yep. Okay. Um, well, problem solved. Just do the Treaty of Versailles. You have to roll four or higher. And there's no French flags out, so. Oh boy. If you can get a French flag out. It'll make more sense because we'll have a better chance of All right. get a Soviet. Flag I, out. I I, I would argue that you great. can talk most as much as you want, but I would say when it comes to specific cards in your hand, I would say yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say yet. Oh, nah, nine, 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 nine. 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 Yeah. Sorry, uh, wrong, wrong country. I'm yeah. good with yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you are. Okay, so I'm gonna play returning soldiers. Is a timeline card. So that means uh, I get to play it for the uh, the uh, number here at the top, and then also I have to do the event, and I can choose the order. I'm not going to play this for a debate because it's got a two and a zero, which means the not so good for a debate. Not, not so really good, good for, for events either, but 
or uh, for action points either, but right. But two, you know, two, isn't, two is better than zero. Nothing. You got to play it at some point. You can do the treaty. I can do the treaty. Oh yeah, we want to get those off. Go ahead, Paul. Take your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this foreign affairs. I'm feeling lucky. Oh, glorious. All right. So, um, first thing that happens is, oh boy, oh, if the oh, wait, boy. if the I may not. Hang on a second, um, because if we look at it, the first thing that happens is. Uh, we add. We would have to add this violent piece to it. True. And then if but you I'm, take the blockade out, if I'm lucky, I would get to take the blockade out. If I'm not lucky, not lucky. Four. That, it's a fifty percent. You have not seen me play Warhammer. It's I play well, orcs. You're, well, you're, oh, but you're not playing Warhammer. Yes. This this is, the dice don't bar. care. The dice don't care. So so yeah, but, so you're but. you're swapping one for another, but you don't get one at the end. So you're it's really and take but two out. Guy, yeah. Take two out. I've got one. this guy to help me out too. Right. That's right. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna so wait a minute. Why am I listening to you? No, I'm just, you know. I'm so to help. I, I'm gonna follow this. Okay, so which are you doing first? Four fears first. I'm going to do this first. Two, okay, for so, two action points. So read through it, John, since it's facing you. Yep. Yep. So he's, he's spending two action points, and yep. the action is foreign affairs, only available for the government. Yep. So what you're going to do is you're going to add um, violent peace yeah. to the DR. Yep. Okay, and done. DNVP gets to add two. Watch your hand. There yep. you go. Gets yep. to add two out to cities. Yep. Put those two out. And 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 more importantly. And one to Parliament. One to Parliament. Hey. All right. There we go. All right. So two to the cities. Um, I like unrest. Unrest is good. You know what? Yep. Um, burglar. Let's get in here to get rid of these councils. Too. Uh noted. <laughs> it's really not his job. Yeah. yeah. Really <laughs> not. Um, well, if he wants points, it is. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, and now I'm about to roll. All right. Fine. I will bring this. Thank you. Right. Very good. There you go. Doesn't mean I'm removing. It's all it takes. Anyway, yeah. Okay. And and now right. keep going. Yep. Yeah, so you're gonna roll one die plus one per French flag, um, of which are, are zero. None. Okay. Here's what they look like. Yeah. They're, of course, they're big. They're, those are nice pieces. Yeah, too. big and chunky, just like all the others. Yes, they're lovely. So, so now you. If you roll a four or higher, you get two points, and we we move the uh, foreign affairs tracker. Now this is now does that say in a city? So this is not an action point in a city, is it? What do you mean? So I'm saying for the purposes of reacting. Um, oh, there's no reaction. No, there's no, no reaction, reaction available yeah. for this. Um, and we'll get to remove blockade, and government has to do uh, a crisis roll. Crisis roll. Now, right. now, uh, Alyssa is Alyssa our odds person, or is that someone else? Yeah, but she's person? a game night right now. Oh, okay. It's fifty percent. <laughs> it's not hard. Yeah, but if I but if I use Gustav, twenty five twenty five percent chance of failing both times. Oh, okay. Oh so well, yeah. So on, let's see challenge those. accepted. Let's see the wheels of government turn here. All right, okay. fail. So, so now you solid. have the DMP, which is or a DVP, the DDP. Right. Okay. Which is which is allowing me to uh, re-roll any dice roll, including my own, and then I flip the card to show that I can't use it again. It's okay. Inactive. Come on. There, there we go. Is. Congratulations. Easy. There you go. So two points for Paul. Two points yeah. for me. And we advance from Versailles. That remove, comes off. Remove blockade. Yep. yep. And remove the blockade. And Done. we each have to do a government roll. Okay, and we'll do roll. that in a second, and yep. then that goes away. Yeah. So now the crisis roll. Okay. okay. Take this no, yeah, sure. All right. You so have the two die, or just one die. Sorry, just one die. And going off oh, of this. Right. So Paul, wait, it's it's a, cr a single crisis a roll single is two dice. dice, and you no. choose the highest. Yes. Yeah. Uh, correct. You choose the highest. That's yeah. right. So well, two, two dice choose the highest. Well, you, you take the highest. You take the highest. <laughs> yeah. Of course, is a way to you are forced that? to choose the highest. <laughs> yeah. That's six. Like that six. is a six. Yeah. No effect. Nothing. That's what you want. Okay. That is a four. four. So I remove one. And from remove one from Parliament. Uh, uh, you had plenty anyway. That's acceptable yeah. to me. I'll take that. Whatever. Um, and then finally, we turn over the next um, foreign affairs code, which is going to be 1921 London. Yeah. What? How did you know? That's, <laughs> by the way, for clarity's sake, you can look at all of the cards uh, at any time. Yeah, you can so. look at these or the round cards. They're now, all known, when we yeah. say any time, you or any card, you can't look through the time. But these yeah, yeah, but two, those two decks. Yeah, yeah, you can. So, uh, with that said, London Ultimatum uh, allows put out some uh, DMVP. And the government does some crisis rolls, and then depending on uh, if they're uh, American and British flags, do stuff and get points. And and, and if it's yeah. during round two or three, you, you get, get a plus, plus one, one to your die roll. So, I mean, yeah. 
You got to roll five or higher. So that's all righty. So now that I've and that gets rid of all inflation. It looks like it. Uh, it does. Yeah. It gets rid of uh, all. No, it puts down. No, it puts it's down the inflation. It puts, it puts down, down, down inflation. In inflation. Which places. one gets rid of all the inflation? Oh, the Reichs. The, yeah, the yeah, rent puts down the inflation rent and, and yeah. buy rent Yeah, we don't want that. So we got to wait before we do that. Coming back to uh, my timeline card. Um, now that I've done the, uh, now that I've spent the points, now I'm going to do the event. And the first is I add this uh, Uber military to the supply to the to the government supply. Yeah. Okay, to to be used later. And then only if I only if this is played in my first or second impulse of this round, which it is. This is okay. my second, second impulse. Yep. Yep. My second impulse. If uh, the men in hats is on the opinion track, advance it three spaces. Otherwise, I put the men in hats on my three space. On your three space. Yep. So that comes out. And it immediately uh, goes not, right there. Not, not to be confused with men without hats. Men, so mm. These are definitely men without men with there hats. Is, there is no safety dance here. Yeah. This is this is the, There's yeah. nothing safe. This is the security this. dance. Yeah. Uh, similar. Yeah. Similar, yeah. but yep. different. Yep. Or the reparations dance. <laughs> right. And yes. Uh, and then so this is done. Remove this card from the game. Done. Done. All right. And we so now that we <coughs> kind of spelled this out, you've yep. seen Basically, most of mm -hmm. how an All impulse yeah. yep. round goes. So yeah. now, this said, just play it in front of you. You know, yeah. play it in your normal spot. Talk us through it, and then go. And we'll, that'll pick up the pace. Three. three, three, three. Okay, I got three. You have four. And he drew. He drew one. And start. Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, I mean, he did get to remove one of my councils for free. Right. There is that. So which pissed you off, so you get to draw a card. That's speaking, how it works. speaking of councils, Germany has not fallen. Nine. Yet. We're going to play this for the APs. Oh, and four. And wow. we're just going to coup Humberg. See? Didn't, didn't say it. I am not reacting. <laughs> Good. Uh, Good. Right. So my base is to have four dice and with a plus one because there's both unrest and poverty. Oh, you needed both there. What? Well, he doesn't need, but he well, likes the, it. Well, the extra die for unrest. And the plus one to the roll because of poverty. Okay, so okay. yeah, no, you. I am not reacting, Paul. And you're adding something to a city? No. Well, uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I would be adding something to Hamburg. Yes. Chewing. So yeah. You, you're, you're. So you're going to do your. You, you have your auto for free. I'm reacting, gonna, and yes. that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Jump so in there. Here we go. Bad roll. Let's go. That's not very nice. That's not very sporting. It is what I want. Two. Two. What, what no effect. Oh, so you don't actually like mess yourself up, right? No, I did not trip and fall. Okay, no. that's, <laughs> so that, that is not a critical failure. All right, here we go. One of these dice needs to be a five. That's all. Yeah, or a lower. Odds of that. Oh my god, all what of them were one? a five. You know what? Is that just yeah, an, is that an auto, is that just an auto win? You, that's it. Yeah, I, that's I think I rolled conditions. a ten. No, you rolled a six. nine. You rolled a six. Those are all sixes. Why? Because I have plus one. No, no. Only only natural sixes give you the plus one. Yeah. Oh, so no, you rolled okay. a six. Uh, rolled you rolled a seven. seven. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. And here is where I'm going to call our comrade a liar. Nah. I mean, now no. I have now I have two out again, so no. I won't put any more. No, that's not what you said. Well, I didn't know he had a magic card that would let me that would let me lose a council. So. Well, I didn't know you were going to lie. I, I think if lie. we play the tape back, what he'll say is that I said he wasn't going to put them in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so second council. Now now I've got two. I'm happy. You told a red lie. <laughs> a pink, a pink <laughs> lie. A little pink yeah, lie. Little pink <laughs> lie. <laughs> um, just, I just want the people to be happy, guys. That's all. Yeah, we're, man, we're, we're up to our knees You see here, this right, right here? No, I think we're okay. You see this right okay. here? Yeah. That's, that's all. That's just okay. workers. Just workers being workers. That's all I got. And I'm okay with you as long as you keep these regimes out. Yeah. We're, we're okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I could. I could. I don't like it. I, I mean. Do me a favor, though. No more poverty. Let the people eat. I mean, you're a man <laughs> of the people, right? I, I didn't do it on purpose. It was the flu. All right. Well, let me. It was that's, the flu. That's, 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 that's yeah. It's not on my. That wasn't on my card. That was on the timeline. Okay. So I'm gonna have to play it no matter what. Yes, you might right? as well. So here you go. The Reichstag election. Okay. Here. Um yeah. 
I feel good about this. It's not so, the, it's, it's a, a timeline it's an, card. And Reichstag election, because that can come back, it looks like. Yeah, I can. Yeah. So it is uh it's a it's a timeline. So we're gonna do the event and then I will take the three action points. Okay. So that said, uh where, yeah, where was the fourth unit from? People are asking. You rolled four items. dice. You rolled four dice. Where did you get uh where'd you get them from? You had one for unrest, one for each of the two units. <sighs> I, I got confused. Sorry, guys. There's a demonstration that gives me an extra one. So, but it doesn't matter. It didn't affect anything. Yeah, because so it was six spots. So yeah. So, yeah. It's fair still, enough. It's still worth. Very yeah. tiny. Very tiny asterisk. Another evidence of a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Communist. All right. So, all <laughs> players. All players. Okay. If you have a city with two or more of your own people in them, do not move one from that city to Parliament, and then. Depending on how many you have there, score some points. Oh, so I'm just don't have a choice here. So Great. that will go there. That is five. Five to seven is one point. One point for the DMVP. Thank you very much. I'm moving and one from Essen and one from Berlin. These are two sided. Yeah. Hidden trackable. Which puts me at eight. How many points? Uh, is that? Eight is three. Nice. Four. Thank you, sir. Now, so all that comes from my own. I am not going to move any. Does that mean I also don't get to do the then? No, you get to do the then. I would say then you count how many you so have you there, so it's a point. Great. And uh, I don't have any. Yeah, uh, the KPD has four. You know what four isn't? Five. Anything? Five. So, yep. yeah. Nice. All right, so now three points, action points. You can yep. turn them over too, Paul, if you want. And uh, we're going to do this again. We've learned our lesson. Okay. Here in the coup. Nope. Three points. Uh, three action points. <coughs> so we're going to get three dice, same same place. Yep. Your coups are cheaper. Yeah. His coups are cheaper. I mean, that's the Cheap way we coups. roll. You spend, uh, spend for the extra point? Uh, I do not get a fourth die, unlike a comrade cheater <laughs> over here. Okay. I only get three. Yep. Um, because there's no unrest there. So three dice. Yeah. There is no poverty. However, I will spend my two action reserve to get a plus one on all three of my dice. Yep. Is anybody reacting to this? Uh, no. You're, and and you um, want your auto response? Yeah. Let's do that. Four. No effect. Well, we're, you're doing this in. Uh, you're doing Berlin. It in Berlin. Yeah. yeah. No effect. Okay. Three dice. Need a five. Very high chance with three dice. Hey, yo, so that's a seven? Yep. So for me, I get to place a regime marker and another unstable state. Another unstable state. Unlike, unlike Good the news. various areas out here where you can only have one of a certain type, all you can eat up in the VR box. Yeah. The good news for you guys is that Instable state marks, there's only two of them. Yeah, so, so there can't be any more. Oh, so, hey, so. Oh, okay. congrats. Hey, I'll be honest, putting that out from a gameplay standpoint feels great. I, I bet it putting does. that out from a moral standpoint feels terrible. Yeah, I think I think we can I think we can all accept that this is a simulation and not an endorsement. Right. So all right, this is just a discard. Yeah. So the discard, uh, honestly, I'm just gonna put a face up right here underneath. Yeah, so we're not gonna right, get to that. Yeah. All right, that is the DMVP's turn. So, hey, how about a round of applause for the DMVP? Nah, Great job. That's maybe, not going to be taking it a little too far. Yeah. All right, so. <laughs> John. Okay. Are you all following along? Are you enjoying this? At I am, home. Sure. I, I am. I, I'm having a great time. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm really, really concerned about the state of this game. I'll tell you that right now about where things are headed. I'm not feeling great. Well, I'm just going to say yeah. that if the game were to go into anarchy at this moment, yeah. I win. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> that, is, that is very because true. Because they would each lose eight. Uh, we don't have eight to lose. Ken has zero. You yeah. have one point. And I have it, some number of points. Yeah, that's right. So there we go. Just, just saying, right? All right. I'm, I don't feel great about this, but we'll see. Um, 
that. So I'm going to play Pact with Old Powers, which okay. lets me add two um, military to any one city. Now, can I take these two? No, it's. It, I think it probably tells you specifically. Is, or is it just, just blank? blank? What, yeah, then you absolutely can. Okay. Yep, you sure can. Any white tokens. Okay, yeah. so these two are going to go here. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Looking good. Um, and I get to perform a counter coup or fight in that city. Wow. Okay. Now, I've... New to this, so yeah, we haven't we haven't done this, yeah, so yeah. okay. So. Oh, we're doing fight. fight well, fight, fight. Or, I don't know yet um, because they give me two different things. Here. Yeah. So fight would be one die plus one for each of these. So I would roll three die. Yeah. Right. No. These oh. are two each. So four. You'd roll five dice. Yeah. Five. By the way, you are capped at at five dice. Yep. Um, and then negative one. Oh, oh, minus of opposition. So, so there's three. So you roll two I dice. Roll. Right, Five because he's got minus he's three. Got three. three roll two dice. And there's no KPD. Yeah. There are not. Now, I can't, I can't use you. the action points, right? Well, you, you, oh. Or can I? Well, So you're spending two. You cannot because... No, because these are my events. Yeah. Oh. So no, you're... Okay. You would have to have it in reserve. Yeah. Yeah, you because you... Put, you could put you could use your action points first. No, to because a it's a party it's a card. Faction. It's a oh, party, it's a party card. card. That's what I was about mm, to say. Yeah. If it were a timeline card, yeah. you could book two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Take the action and then do the event. Yeah. But okay. alas, so that's I right. can roll three, and if I roll a five two. or higher, two. of two. two, if I roll a five or higher, I can remove one of his skulls. Yeah. Or, I can counter coup. Um. So I get a. Die for each of those. So that's four yeah. minus three again. Yeah. So that's two. There's no prosperity there. No, that's one. One die. For each of your units, which is four, minus one for every my so units, which is one. three. Oh, because that's plus. Yeah. Okay, so I'd only roll one. And if I roll a five or higher, I can remove his regime. I'm going to pause you for one second. I'm own. I'm not, is own, are these, are these your own? Yeah, they they for for government for government for okay, government, yeah, government. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And otherwise were, it would have and if your red ones I think would also count as yours as well too yeah, yeah they would, would but I don't have them out very yet. good so okay so now I just have to decide whether you're in government or not you can always use the police yeah correct two die five or higher or one die five or higher to either remove a skull or a regime so that's my decision two um, dice five or higher or one dice five or higher. to remove one Everybody die for this two die for one of those so what do you think i think this is more important but that's just one die but that's for one die two. for five or higher and, and, yeah. and, and to be clear hold on before we go removing the like let me let me let me put a little bit of a of a point on this okay. two cancel markers two, two. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. a double strength, right? So it's, yeah, it's but it's twice one as marker. effective. But it's one marker. <laughs> yeah, and it took two moves <coughs> to get it in there. Well, I'll, I'll, well Edward sure. makes a good point. If I if I go down here, mm -hmm. I would get an extra die because there's only two here as opposed to three. That's true. sure. Um, but of course, you don't it, care about that from a scoring perspective, but you do care about that. It, that's true. It would also let me remove an unrest, which would help him. I don't necessarily care about unrest. Yeah. Um, Edward could get in the mix here with the unrest and remove the council himself. So what I would say, I would love the regime to go, but a five and nine chance to take out a troop is probably better than a one and three chance to take out the regime. Right. Yeah, because then I could go back. The regime is a problem for another day, I think. Would you troops. get to choose yeah. the troop that goes? I think so, yeah. And that, that's what I was, like, the two strength or the one strength? Yeah. All right, let's get two uh, die. Let's do it. Two dice. Yeah. I'm not going to... I will not react to I'll, you. I'll refrain from the dice roll. Yes. I don't have the opportunity to react. They're so this there. is uh, success on a... I'm fighting. Right. Yeah. So it's five dice minus three dice is two dice. Yep. And then it's a five, five or, or higher. higher. But if I roll a one... If you roll two ones, then that's bad. No, just one. Yeah, two ones. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have to add unrest there and I lose... Um, and you lose from Parliament. Yeah. Hey, uh, look, uh, how about a 44? It's a 44? Yeah. One Cruz, uh, Eric Davis. Let's see 44. what I can do for you. Hey! Yes. So five up. You get to remove an op opposition token, and I think you get to choose, right? I am I am looking at whenever you remove. Um, so if you go to fight, fight maybe fight, it fight. says it. Uh, street fighting right here. Um, So 
So we got some troops there now. We got some troops and not a oh. lot of opposition. Oh, so here you can clean up Berlin pretty easily, probably. Uh, yes, I can with a counter with a counter coup. Uh, uh, here it is. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do next, and that is stall. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens. All right, well, this is getting removed. I can't remove unrest. This is none there. That, yeah. That's getting removed from the game. Solid Carl. Yeah. As long as I rolled. <laughs> Otherwise. Yeah. I mean, it shows of this dissolve one unit. It doesn't say. So, I mean, obviously, obviously. you're going to do a two strength. Yeah. 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 Okay. There we go. So, uh, that was your action. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to me. And like I said, I am going to <coughs> stall. And that stall is Keeper of Tradition. Um, what that lets me do is, uh, and I'm going to play it, in, actually, should I play it for the debate? No, I'm not going to play it for the debate. Do I want to? Um, no, I'm, I'm just trying to survive right now. Um, so let's, let's put out Farmers. I'll put that right there. Oh, sorry. That's yeah, okay. I dropped the ball. There yeah. you go. Yep. Farmers, we go just ahead. added that right there. And then I get to put two of my people here in any one or two cities. Um, I need to be here, and I need to be here. Done. And then I remove this card from the game. All right. Uh, okay. Steph, uh, Steph Hamburg says, a TV series, Babylon Berlin, is based on the books by Volker Kutcher. Oh. Uh, the books, by now there are nine in the series, oh, wow. are way better than the TV wow. series. Definitely recommend the books, which awesome. Thank you for that. Um, and it's about Gary Om Rath, yeah. inspector at the police of Berlin in, in, the, in the late 20s, early 30s. So, yeah. Are And, Steph, are they available in English? Yeah. Good. That, that's probably an important question. If yeah. there's nine of them, I would assume probably. No, yeah, probably. no, that means there's none. That means there's no books available. Oh, I see what nine. he did. Yeah, I see what he did there. Okay. All right, I'm done with it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm right. Show's over. Can right. we go back to Google <laughs> Kachu? <Yeah. laughs> Seth says the board looks really nice, but the small busy cards with tons of icons put me off. I'll be honest. I'm not telling you you're wrong, Seth. Yeah. But I will say that the icon it actually is. In person, it's very easy. It's, it's really easy. easy. And on the other side of these, there's less words, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, on the main board or your player board, you can flip it over, yeah. and it's just icon-centric and less words. Less, oh, there's more yeah, pictures. You get more, there's more, more, um, there's more background pictures. Background yeah, picture, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So, all right. Anyway, Ken. Uh, I just have to put these guys out now. I wish I, wish I could do this in a slightly different order, but I cannot. So, I'm going to play the Auto Front Kämpferbund. Beautiful. So Man. the red, I, I don't know, I don't know that long compound word, but red something. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going to add three reinforcements to the supply. Mm. And then I'm going to use this card to debate. All right. So economy are, those are always good for me. So we'll go ahead and move this here. You put economy out and you, I don't see you doing anything. With it. <laughs> um... <laughs> Now look what the position we're in here. And then <laughs> um, reparations. Ooh, yeah. That, that means I get to draw an extra card next time, right? Yeah. Just draw one party card for the next round. For reparations? Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you also uh, yeah. get and you also become the star player. I mean. Yeah. So wow. and that's okay. a lovely card. Okay. It is now out of play. All right. We're working on it, Avalanche. Uh, I cleaned up Steph, Berlin a little bit. Steph says I think they're they're in in English as well. In okay. English. Um. I mean, we can get some mobilization out to some cities too. All right, we are just trying to survive this right now. Oh, well, everybody friend. should be. No, Edward doesn't care. Edward mm -hmm. wants this to happen. Depends how long you want to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, all that means I get to I get to dust in here. I get to clean up. I get to you know. But anarchy brings you dusting. Yeah, <laughs> you know, basically what I'm trying. That to is tell not you. what um, I was taught in anarchy school. 
You learn so many things in Antarctica. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. How to make Molotov um, cocktails. Yeah. yeah. Tennis ball bombs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what to do after you've achieved yeah. your political objectives? Oh, wait, no. No. We didn't really. No, yeah. We didn't really learn that. No. I mean, that would be great, but I can't do it. So I am debating. In a game mechanical sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 right. Like debating on <laughs> what action, but yeah, fair, <laughs> fair. Um, so, again, we, we only have one play under our belt on this, so I'm not 100% sure. Wow, that seems really good. I I so want to do a lot of this. Um, so what I'm wait for debating oh. is how to use my cards that are left. Now they can tell that these are yours faction cards because obviously they're different than the timeline. So they're going to be all good for you, Larjoy. Right, and so all right. So I'm going to play fulfillment politics. I am not playing it for the debate, and I'll explain why. Or, I'm sorry, not for the event. I apologize. Okay. It says, put two of my uh, markers on top of the foreign affairs card. When the next foreign affairs section is performed, put both figures in play, each as one on board and one in parliament. Okay? Yeah. So, if you go and you take a look at the foreign affairs card, I'm already placing two out there. Like, they're not motivated to do that. Anyway. anyway, and all I'm doing is disincentivizing yeah. them to do it. So I don't think that makes a lot of sense from my standpoint, at least. So you're going to use that to debate. So either debate or action. So allow me, because look, I'm I'm focused on the stream itself more so than the strategy of my game. And so it takes me a little bit to, to work through some of this stuff, but yeah. Mobilize, okay, I can put my one little piddly unit out. Okay. Reserve, whatever. Coup, it's three points. I could definitely coup somewhere if I wanted, but the thing is, I'm not super strong anywhere right now. So outside of Berlin, and I can't have multiple regime markers in the same city. So that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, the only place where you'd even have a die roll is Essen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Demonstrating, I could, in a base of one, I could demonstrate in Berlin if I wanted. But, again, doesn't seem great. However, I would like to point, bring your attention to take control. Mm. <laughs> for, for two action points, mm. I can flip over the super police yep. to the side that matters. Oh, boy. And you can place your other guy with your mobilize action for next, right? Right. And basically turn that into a really strong hold for me. Of course, others have to take control action as well. Yep. Yeah, 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 for sure. But, but then you're tug, a tug of war. And, and they're not focused on that. They want to... Because you don't have... That, I do not. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I Yeah. So I'm tempted to do that. You but... have it. John has it, but it's really expensive. Paul has it, but it's the same price as yours. But mm. the other thing... The other option I have is three and three on the debate. Three and three on the debate is pretty good. That that yep. that ain't nothing to sneeze at, right? Because again, the extra card, that's an extra action. Mm. One, two, because you moved it from up here. Yeah. You kind I mean, of did it a, a Paul's, lot of it. Paul's is like pretty close to you, so it wouldn't have been that far for you anyway, but it's a little closer. It, it is a little bit, right? Yeah. Um the thing is, these other ones You don't care about that much. Eh, yeah. Not so much. So I think what I am gonna do with this, I, I, I guess so. I'm going to actually take them for the uh, sorry for the uh, action points. Yep. So I will take control. I'm sorry. You're gonna mobilize your that guy. That is two. Oh, you could also demonstrate. I guess I could demonstrate there, which allows me to put out more. But the only thing is, I don't want to put them out there. I could, however, I could demonstrate 
or I book the point. That, 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 that's, that's the, so book it meaning boost my reserve. But you know what? I think I'll actually demonstrate in Munich. It has to be in the same city if you're using action points. Ah, oh, that's right. Forgot. So give control back and let's. Booking the, point, booking the point could also work, though. Points. I mean, I could mobilize it. I know, but there's nothing I can do about that right now. So, you know what? I'll book it. That's me, and it just goes into my discard. Yep. Done. That's me. All right. John. I am very worried about the Deutschreich. Yep. Hopefully I'm understanding this correctly. So the DR box. Right? The DR yep. box. Um, we, we, got, we went through Versailles. Yep. Does this have to get resolved also at this phase, the next, the London ultimatum? No, no. Keep in mind. It does not. Be, and also note that it does not have anything here. It it it's uh, it does not say that anything bad happens if you don't do it. Right. Versailles. So no. Versailles. So hand me the Versailles card. Yeah. It says at end of round okay. add blockade. Well, right there. So that is okay. the scary part. Good but because the, if it, I it doesn't. if I did the London ultimatum and roll the five and higher, we the we game lose the game. Over. Right. So, so don't do that. Or I, uh, I see. Wait. It, why would it be over? Because, because it, add, it adds two. It adds one immediately, and then if I roll a five or higher, it adds another. Ooh, one. What? Which and, one does it add immediately? Uh, uh, violent piece. Violent piece. Oh, yeah, and which then is it adds still inflation. available. Yeah. Still available. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I would like to point out, you guys wouldn't lose. I would just win. <laughs> That's the same thing. Yeah. No, it's really. Not. And when Edward wins, we all win. Seriously, yeah. because then we're allowed right, to go yeah. home. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to go home yet. But um, if now if he gets control of government, he could do that himself. But, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. There. All right. Yeah, so, but then I would lose eight points. So yeah, there's true. Right. Yeah, that's right. true. Then we would um, win. But the one of each of these is coming out after you guys figure, right? Because these are these are ones that like, yeah. If you go down to the yeah, you always lose an unstable state in a violent piece. If oh there, yeah, so, if we survive this those, round, those, those will, will go drop. away. Yeah. Um, and to answer Paul's question, can you do actions multiple times, like within your, yes, you can, If but I only had three points, so I would have needed four, that you bet your smoke tails. Your I sweet bippy. Yeah. Right. Now, there are some actions you can't do multiple times on your same turn. Like, demonstrate. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. All right. So I'm going to play a timeline card, a uh, National Assembly in Weimar. Um, so I'm going to do the event. First, which is search my draw deck for any politician card, mm. add it to my hand, and then shuffle the draw deck. Okay. And then... And then play any card for my hand. And then... And remove an unrest from the from, board from somewhere. the city. So okay. these are the politicians. So I'll just take him. I'll shuffle this in a second. I'll shuffle it while yeah. you're, if you want. And um, then you're going to play Remove an unrest. Okay. Yeah. Let's remove... Um, I mean, this is the one that... Oh, but I guess if you... You, you lose points if there's more than... No, not me. He doesn't I want do. unrest. I don't want uh, I don't want poverty. But you guys also, don't you lose points if there's multiple in a city? So there's no losing points, I don't think. There's just missing out on points. Yeah, you're yeah, not gaining points. Okay, right. cool. So let's remove it from Essen. Thank okay. you. Because that, that's, that's one where you don't have a counselor okay. regime currently. So. This is driving me nuts. They're not all facing the same way. And then don't you still get to do... Um... Yeah, and then I have I can debate or take an action. And I get to... Oh, oh yeah. let me play a card for my hand first. Um, Wait, what now? He's doing this in kind of... So I took my with. politician, Edward shuffled, and it says play any card from your hand. Wow. Yeah, and remove an unrest. And then I still have a action So we're gonna point. we're going to put this back while you play, because whatever sure. you play could, yeah. could affect that. So I'm going to play the politician I just took. Sure. Um, to... Debate. All right. So your debate is the three, and, three two. and two. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's just go. Let's. Um, you are Rojo. All right. So let's do one, two, three. Okay. okay. And let's do. Let's lock this. Um. Hey, Avalanche. What's uh? What are you referring to there? If you don't mind. Unpacking for me a little. Let's lock this in. Okay, that's two yep. and three done. And then I have one more. I can uh, debate with the National Assembly because it's a timeline card. Mm. So I have one. Uh, oh, it's a one zero. We're, so yeah. we're still working down the event. Yep. So, yeah. Play the card. Yep. Move, mm -hmm. Remove the unrest. Yep. And now I'm going to do the debate. And uh, let's just move this over here. All right. 
That is legit. All right, discard or uh, this gets the removed game from the game, or whatever that might be. Oh, oh no, that's I'd use that for debate. Okay, so this gets this this card. Okay. Yeah, the, the the one thing that I definitely want to stress to people at home is when you're playing this, remember you're only removing the card from the game if you play it as the event. Take your time, stop, think about yeah. it because it's it's easy to confuse discard or out of the game. So yeah. just take your time with that, all right? So you um, cannot add a third violent piece to the DR because there are only two violent piece tokens. Oh yeah, yeah, there are only two yeah. physical. Okay, and yeah. those are piece limited. So yeah. There is a piece and an inflation stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. There's all right. plenty of fun stuff <laughs> over there. There is. Oh, uh, fun. You've been using very large air quotes there. <laughs> We're going to go... Uh... The FU and fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go uh, Wilhelm, Marx, politician. Uh, I will not play him as a reaction to a debate. I will instead play him as uh, as a debate. Ah. Okay, 3-2. Yeah. And yeah, Shrey, you are correct. Shrey's like, ha, huh, I saw that John's draw deck wasn't all facing the same way. I assumed that word off for just couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. How did uh, he tell? Uh-huh. Because it, they, some of them were upside down uh, yeah. when you were going through it. Oh, uh, okay. I think we're going to go... I don't so you have a three and a two. I have a three okay. and a two. It's pretty obvious what you should do. Is it? Say it like that. Because then I feel I, dumb if, it, if well, I don't. Well, but Okay, you are blue. I am I am blue. Okay. Uh, I'm I, I Don't let him talk to you like that. I'm don't not going to. I'm not, I won't. So protecting Republic law. So if I move protecting Republic law and I manage to win it, then I get to follow, uh, I get to follow either, this either of those two. Either of those two. Yeah. And protecting Republic law. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put that there to show that that's what's... That's a good idea. Uh, okay, so hold on one second. Let me, uh, yeah. let me bring it over. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and it looks like protecting Republic law means that I become chancellor or the chancellor gets The chancellor to. gets to remove... Dissolve any unit. Yeah. Is how I. You um, don't like that one. Yeah. Okay. So, it, it, and it would be a unit in your favor. About, just so yeah. you know. But it does help. It, but it also gets to do that. Yeah. We don't want them to have it. Yeah. We don't. We don't want. We don't want them to have it yeah. because if they choose to not. Wait. You're gonna have to walk me through this just a little bit. Um. This if um. If I were to put this into my spot here and it were to stay there and I were to win it. Right. Then you become chancellor. Oh. No, no, yeah. no, no. The chancellor no, gets to dissolve. Sorry. Any... Correct. Yeah. John's, John is. And split. as long as this lives in this area over here, the Every chancellor would he... get to dissolve any unit. Fact. That's yes. it. That's. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I, 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 so let me tell you what you but should I'm do. I'm pretty sure you can't yes. dissolve the Reichs there even if they're flipped to the black side, right? Yeah. You Why say not? again. You cannot resolve the Reichs there. You cannot you dissolve, dissolve them. Correct. Yeah, even if they're flipped to the wrong side. Right. Oh, that's good uh, police units cannot be dissolved. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, these guys, I think, are more like... Military. Um, they're more like, uh, yeah. I, 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 Germany's, Germany's demilitarized during Weimar, but like, I think they're like um, yeah. uh, National Guard. Okay, that makes sense. So may I suggest what you should do? Please do. Do not move protecting Republic law to blue. You should actually move it two to me. Can't. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Again. Must okay. Well, then always move. If you're gonna, if you're gonna move it, yeah. go straight down. Yeah. Be because you don't want it, him to be able to get it. Yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. So I'm gonna move this one, two, three, and then we're get going another to, one for two. And then I get another one for two. One, two. All right. All right. Uh, by the way, catch you all up. Uh, Steph says uh, the Berlin. In, yeah. Uh, uh, the book series is the Garam Wrath Mystery Series. The first book is just Babylon Berlin. Uh, the original title in German would be translated word for word for The Wet Fish. The Wet yeah. Fish. Okay. All right. A wet Fish is a term for an unsolved case, by the way. So, and so um, he just goes into your discard pile? And he just goes into my discard pile, uh, and that is it for me. My, right, that's okay. my turn. Sounds okay. like a red herring. <laughs> <laughs> we will play... Um, this is Berlin Box House, which I think is maybe the Berlin radio station. That okay. Like the beginning of radio in Berlin. Okay. Right. And there's a timeline card. card. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and so I I will do the event first. Okay. I will choose another player. I'm going to choose John. Um, and he must play one of his cards to debate. Right now. Like right now. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a really good debate card. Sweet. Um, it's a four two. It's good. It's yeah. good for him because I could have resolved, uh, dissolved any KVPD in any city. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Which would have been that one. Yeah. But, uh, well done. Yeah. Comrade. Yeah. All right. Um, so four two. Four two. Uh, yeah. So. One, two, three, four. Mm. And I don't really care about that because yeah. either way it's going to help me. So let's just. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, I want to make sure that doesn't go down. So. Okay. All right. So that's the event. And that yep. means I don't use my card anymore now. Yeah. yeah. Right. That, you, yeah. You, you are, you you are kaput. Okay. And then I will also use it to debate. Four in one. Ah. One, two, three, four. Hmm, one. I guess I should have moved that uh, four. <laughs> I would like to point out that, like, <clears throat> so both of these are bad for us. What is what the protecting Republic law? Yeah, because they can dissolve. Yeah, I'm not excited about that one. I'm not going to lie. Um, you just can't get it far enough, though. Right, that one's... Well, you could help it along. Maybe I could as well. Yeah, um, what? I mean, how is it, you, you, you would move it this way, not this way. Right, you move it here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so you, it's four and one, so you got one movement on, uh, not that. Right. So one and towards so me. so I think I, I, you know, yeah, all right. Okay. All right. So that is out of play. Yeah. Yep. Well, you know what you got to do, right, Paul? You mean I, I? I know what I have to do. Play this single card that I have left in my yes. hand. <laughs> I hope is it a time? It's a timeline card. That so. is what I must I hope do. You can lobby with it. Uh huh. Uh, I needed you to mess with that one. I needed you to pull that one towards you. I would have loved to, but I couldn't have got it far enough. So. Well, no, I'm saying with the four that you had. That oh. Glorious. Yeah. I don't know, man. Um. Could do that. That. So let me. That is awfully tempting going into the next round. All right. So here's my debate. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and work my way through <coughs> it here. So I have a 4-2 uh, faction card. Yep. Which the 4-2, looking at this, I really wanted to get this. That's one, two, three, four. Alas, I could go one, two, that way. three, four. I could put the protecting Republic law there. Yeah. And basically, if it stays there, it just goes away. It goes removed from the game. Kaput. Uh, thank you. Right. Um. But the two, like, but that doesn't feel great, I'll be honest. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is set myself up for next round. Mm. All right. So the Marine Brigade Earhart. We're going to play it for the event. So it's a one-time deal. Uh, we are going to bring that from the supply into Berlin or, or uh, Munich. That bad boy will go into Munich right there. And then destroy a KPD unit and place an unrest. Unfortunately, can't place an unrest. Yep. But you know what I can do? Destroy a KPD unit. Uh, I don't like you impersonating my uh, No, no, no. It just goes and dissolves. Oh, sorry. Apologies. Yeah. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, and then I get to bump one reserve, which importantly puts me at two reserve, which is important for the coup. Mm -hmm. Is that a, out of the and game? That or is a, out of the game. Yeah, that's a good one. I was going to be impressed if that was a come on back any old time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you oh, got right, nothing so left. I'm on recess. So you're pass. Yeah, you're done. That's okay. Yeah, all right, Paul. Oh, boy, this, this physically hurts me. Okay, because, I like this. Because oh, we have a one, card. Yeah, because we have one card left after mine, and that's Ken's. And, and who knows what Ken could do. Now, we'll see. So this is a timeline card. Okay. This is uh, Bitter Poverty. 
We're going to go with the event first because I haven't really thought about what I want to do. Are you event. adding poverty right now? I are look, you? Well, he doesn't have a choice. I don't have a choice, man. Who do you want from me? Look, I'm not on Zentrum's side in any no. way, shape, or form. I don't have a choice. But I'm going to back him up a yeah. little here. It's All right. Ooh. Dice, please. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay, so hold on. Walk us through what you're rolling yep. here. What, so what happening? I've got here in this first step is uh, to add a poverty to a random city. We are going to roll two dice and consult the city chart. Please go right. to Hamburg. That is, that is not. That's Essen. Okay, so, so we got rest in Essen. a poverty. Oh, oh my poverty. I'm sorry, poverty. Yep, poverty in Essen. Yeah. And if blockade is active, it's not. It, which it is not. It is not. So we do not add any more poverty. Okay. But if okay. there were blockade, you would. I I'm would. okay with this. Okay. And if London Ultimatum has not been completed, which it, it has not, not, I then add inflation. Are you crazy? I, I look, nothing he could do. My heartburn has been acting up for the last 45 minutes. <laughs> I told you. Go back. Let's take it. Let's go to the playback. That's what happens when the century is a power. Yeah. So inflation now, out the air. Now I've got two. Now I've got two. I could spend two action points in order to do something, or I could debate. Now debate's not really going to help me much. Well, you um, could get the economy, and I might. And we get the economy into yeah. your side, which I guess is good for me. Um, I could do that, and then move another, and then do another two, which mm. I could move Republic Law into me, but like. Okay, but you and I are kind of both going to have the same idea about what we want to dissolve. Um, now, so I feel kind of like that would be a little bit of a waste. Um, it, uh, yeah, I mean, because you could put Republic Law firmly into your hands, so Ken doesn't get it. So, Ken, but yeah, Ken could get it if Ken plays a card that allows him to move it one, two, three, four. Currently. Currently. Uh, if, so if I can move it four, I could move it here. And just and make nobody it go gets away. It and make it go away. Yeah. Which I would in my Which is which is what yeah, which but if I do but if I move it two, uh I would go one, two, and he could still get it up there. Fact with a four. Yep. So there's really nothing I could do to that. fully protect it. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is instead of doing debate, because it seems weak, I'm going to instead maybe do a take control mm. to get this back. That seems wise. Into okay. our possession. Um I could do a demonstration. So you want to fund the police, but increase inflation. Yes. I don't okay. want to increase inflation. Oh, well, I was forced to increase inflation. You say inflation. that, but... Yeah, I, do, I don't want to do it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, please stop me from increasing inflation. So uh, I could use one point for a demonstration and then one to bump my reserve up, which could come in handy next round. Um, that would help me get rid of unrest. If he puts out more unrest... I am deprived of two points. So, you know, I have a horse in this race, obviously. But just yeah. want to point out, yeah. your take control is cheaper than John's is. Yeah. So. I think I'm, oh, man. I I'll could, be right back. I got to take care of something. And sure. Do it. So I could mobilize. So nice I could that. mobilize <laughs> and then, I think I, I could mobilize and then, uh, and then demonstrate. I think I might do that. I think I'm mobilize and demonstrate. I think I was going to mobilize here and then demonstrate in order to get rid of this unrest. Okay, and then your demonstration is going to be a real disaster because don't does it does it not count my units against you? It does not. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. mine does, I guess. Though, and this does. Uh, your demonstrate does not either. Oh, you're right. Yep. Um, so, uh, but that would really cement me two victory points because unless you put out a whole bunch of unrest. Uh, I think I'd be okay. Um, right. So I think I'm going to try that. I got to do what's good for me. So I'm going to spend one point to mobilize. Yep. And put that here. Yep. Then I'm going to spend another point to demonstrate. So first, mobilize into the chosen city. Wild. That's pretty good. Yeah. So I because he's he's with the police essentially. Yeah. So. Do we, have, uh, do we have the high def cam? Got ourselves a nice little ant right here. I'm going to take an ant break. Look at that. You see that up there? Look at that guy. He wants to get in on this action. Edward's not here. This is great. This is great stuff. He's not going to know about yeah, it. Top, Nobody top, tell Edward that we're doing top this. Top quality video. Top um, quality content. Get don't tell it. me what. Nothing. We're playing the game. This is fan This is good stuff. Oh, another one? We've got... Second. Oh, do it. Oh! Sorry, bud. 
Yeah. Yeah. The game ended prematurely for you. By the DMV. The DMV strikes yeah. again. <laughs> so the, the crushing foot. Yeah. So we've got uh, now two police here in Hamburg, and I'm about yeah. to demonstrate. So I roll one die, one die, please, and then one die for each of the police. So that's so three, three dice. dice. And since this is an action in a city, would the anyone like to oh, react? Uh, I cannot because I don't have a presence. I there. like not to. Elect not to. Great. Um, so then we'll put this here, and I will roll onto it. We're going to roll three dice. That is a six, baby. So I get to... Put two bases. Put two bases in... Uh, I did not do well enough. I thought I would going to be able to... I thought with three dice, I would... You had a chance. I had a chance. You needed to roll two sixes. Yeah, so I'm going to instead put down... I need to roll. I just needed to roll two sixes. That's what he said. Oh, I thought you said three sixes. Uh, I might have said three sixes, no, but I meant right. in my head. I right. Yeah, there you go. So I'm putting two guys in Hamburg. Okay, so everybody's done, yep. actions-wise. I right. am now finished. I mean, the commies would say three sixes, but he said two. <laughs> uh, okay. This does not get removed from the game. Right. This goes into a discard pile, which we established. Yep. Right under here. I may be new to the game, but I do think that DR box is... It's not good. Concern. It's gonna, yeah, it's, it's a little um, yeah. stretched to its. This boundaries. is going to be interesting during the crisis rolls. For oh these boy! Guys. Yeah. <coughs> okay. It should be fun. All right. So your so, last. So yeah, I have one more card. card. Right. Yep. So I could play for the event, which is play red flag, which is a great event for me. Yeah. Let me um, grab it. And then use three for action points in Berlin, but I'm really not set up to do that very well. Okay. So I'm just going to take three action points yeah and i'm going to mobilize two in essen and then i'm going to demonstrate with my final action point okay so that'll allow me uh, a roll of three because it's one per unit yep. strength and a base of one and a right base up. of one and I, i'm rolling three dice i'm going to react to that okay, okay. knock yourself out it's the way i roll i probably would Literally. Oh, four. That's a uh, no effect. Okay. You rolled three fours now on that one. Yeah. yeah. So, so I need. Um, consistency. Yeah. I need two sixes to place uh, an uprising, which is the flip side of the council, which is right. It's like there, a right? it's a pre council yeah, basically. Right, yeah. Um, but I only need a five or a six to place two bases, which is really what I'm about here. So. We do not. Thank you very much, Martin. I bet you guys crashed the East India Company in turn one. <laughs> I mean, Johnson sometimes. Company. Right, yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, no, that is... Yeah, so I place five. place two bases. Place yes. two bases. Yep. In essence. So I will place... Yeah, I, go ahead and take the, the... You you knew, you knew. I know what's going on. Yeah. Um, okay, and, we're, and that's good. So that one will not be discarded because I didn't use it for the event. It just goes into my discard pile. Okay. Good I interest, y'all. In some politics. You got please. Okay. So, uh, we'll do, uh, that is the politics area of the board, right? But we're going to go ahead and kind of do this. There, there, we're set up for the first four boxes right there. Okay. Yeah. So, what this is, is uh, we now look at the issues track. Yeah. And whoever has the most issues is going to get three seats in parliament. Whoever has the second most is going to get one. So if we take a look at the issues track. So here we go. This is going to pink. So that oh, is... Leave, leave it there because it's two strength. You, you are correct. That yep. is there. So that is two points, oh, yeah. if you yeah. will, there. Yeah. Uh, whereas red has a total of nine and a half of two, which is one. That's ten. Yeah. Yep. It is... One for blue and two for pink. So red is going to win that. So red is getting three seats into parliament. You can choose their seats if you want. Anytime a lose box is yeah. full, it's always brutal. Right. Over, All right. Overflow. All right. Now, that whoever's in second, so uh, that appears here to be pink. Pink is going to get one seat, so they're going into the overflow. Okay. okay, so now that will go to pink. Yep. Those will go to red. We'll resolve those here in a second. However, this one, they must agree on what happens with this. Uh, so we can either, I mean, we can either put this into place. 
and ditch and unrest. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Or we can each add someone to Parliament. I don't think we add anyone to Parliament. Okay, very. I good. don't think you can each add somebody to Parliament. You have to decide who gets to add one. Right. To no, I think we're not uh, even going to worry about that. Yeah. We're going to go up there. that. Okay. Yeah. Very good. You're right. So this is going to get uh, added right into there. Is there an order? We always resolve the yellow one first. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then that's going to get right in there. Done. Now, where yeah. do you want to remove unrest from? Uh, I feel like moving it from there because uh, I think I have a better chance of removing it from here. On via the, demonstration. Uh, via demonstration and, and that kind of thing. So I okay. think that's a good spot to remove it from. Sure. You cool with that? Yep. Very good. Uh, no, check that. Um, Whoa. Nope, back that up. Yeah. I apologize. So I did it backwards. Wait first. Then. Oh, okay. So uh, how but... these work is these go top to bottom, yep. left to right. Yep. So if you look at the issues... So that is going to be the economy. Stupid. There we go. Yeah. Yep. All right. So the economy, you have two options. What are they? I can either move the economy tracker one to the right. Which bad. I mean, yeah. Uh, or, <coughs> and then I could also place a prosperity in a random city. That, that, I dig or it. I can place two of my party bases. Oh. Which is probably what that's it's that's, Now, yeah. prosperity helps me get rid of regime, just so you know. I know. I mean, listen, yeah. if if I didn't have so little presence on the board, yeah. I would think about it. But I I mean, also, you guys prosperity helps me get rid of all day long, your so. stuff. So. Yeah. So, all right. That is now resolved. That goes back. Yep. Yeah. Now we resolve uh, reparations. Nets. So I draw one party card for the next round, and I'm the start player. There we go. So now the chancellor doesn't get to choose. Right. So I'm going last is what that means. Good or bad. We'll see. And now the uh, military affairs, is that? Yep. Uh, security. Sorry. Yep. Security. Dissolve a unit of your choice. John? Well, yeah. Just Or move one of your own units from the dissolved units area. Oh. Which you have not. Yeah. So let's see. Who do I want to dissolve? Wait, did you guys take the unrest marker out already? No, because that doesn't happen yet. Uh, yeah, it will. Oh, it I will see. here momentarily. Do you want to grab the um, the start token? So you don't particularly care about unrest, I guess. Oh, but I don't know. So I guess I'll dissolve um, DNVP from Berlin. Or hateful. Look I, at all the pink I, I out know, there. I know, but it doesn't. Like, I, hey, you uh, know, you know what? I like the no irony of the DNVP calling someone hateful. I'm just hoping you get... Uh, yeah. Okay. But can someone talk me out of it? Nope. Besides... Uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. I can give you five reasons. <coughs> five reasons? What five reasons? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Mm. I already right, have two yeah. councils. I'm not placing any more councils. Yeah. <laughs> two councils. I'm happy with the stasis right there. That's I, all I, I need. I don't is two. believe you. Just two is well, all I need. Why why do you why just two? Well, I just only need two. Why? I, I'm content with Apparently it. there's a card that I'm content with two. Okay, two there's good. something two that we fine. don't know. All right. Perhaps it's a mistake. All right. Um, so that is done. Is. Yeah. Now this will get resolved. So this now that goes and you remove an unrest. Yeah, and so I think we decided we were going to remove it from here. Yep. And this is out of the game forever. Yep. So I just put it outside the dish. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Oh, I thought uh, I should have done. Great. It's too late, right? Well, yes, it is. But what should well, you I, have done? Well, it's up to you. you no. Know, I could put that back and get rid of one nope. of those. No. Uh, you okay. have, I, you I have the opportunity when you're in your chancellor phase. No, I know. I, I should have done both of these. Oh. Wow. Well. Oh well, can only can only do so much. Yep. So technically, we do that, yep. and then we already did that, yep. right? So now, we and now on. we resolve these left to right. All right. So now the chancellor gets to redeem or re remedy his mistake and dissolve a unit. There we go. Then uh, the uh, Zentrum gets a point. Gets a point. Yeah. Um, I can I take can I rewind for a second? No. Well, I want to know why we dissolved two units. Why did we dissolve this one here and then that uh, one there? Because of my security issue. Oh, the yeah. security. That's what it was. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. KPD can move. Yeah. Or place a unit. Yep. Yeah. 
And Zentrum can place a party base. base. Ooh, do I want to go there? I think I kind of want to go anywhere. I want to, I really need to help contribute to make sure that we just don't get overrun by pink. And then KPD gets point. All right. So now we get an opportunity, or some people yeah. get an opportunity to score. Yeah. KPD, they are going to score two points for every council marker that they have on the board. That's four. And they will score, if there are no regime counters on the board, two more points. But there is one, so they will score four points. Yep. The SPD will score two points if there are only two poverty out there. And... Those are the two poverty, so it checks yeah. out. And they would score two more if there are no regime out there. There is. Zentrum scores two points if there are two or um, uh, less unrest. There's only one unrest, so that checks out. And, yeah, that's not happening. Nope. Yeah. I score two points for every regime marker, and if there's no count, you know, so two points. Yeah. Want to make some change. All right. Now, the USPD, which currently is aligned with the KPD, they get one preserve. Then the DDP, by the way, uh, yeah, sorry, DDP is going to be able to... May. May. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, plus two. No, that's later. Yep. That's in a this second. is for oh, their oh, special oh, ability. Okay. Uh, you can remove one of your own party bases. To perform a foreign affairs action. Uh, no. We do not want to do that. <laughs> okay. Unless I want well, to do hold this on. one. He doesn't have a mouse in his pocket. <laughs> it is his uh, choice. I mean, I could do... Oh, you could do this one. The Treaty of Apollo. Yeah. And maybe get some points. Um, and I would add reinforcements. That's true. Um, DNVP... No. Okay. But All right. That's Electing not to. So then the DVP flip gets to flip over. Streisman. Yep. Done. Okay. So we are halfway through the politics phase. Yeah. Now, here, where is the economy marker? We're going to place poverty or prosperity, depending on where it is. Oh, it looks like we're going to place two poverty markers yeah. now. Who wants to roll for that? Oh, I will because it's, okay. it's bad for me. That appears to be a 10. That's Breslau. Yeah. Uh, poverty in Breslau. Two of them. One there and then one in Essen. Nope. Nope. Try again. Roll again. Yeah, you don't get to not ah. place it. Sorry. Six. Six. Hamburg. Right. Roll again. Can't see it. Roll Eight. again. Roll again. Five. Five. Cold. That'll work. Got it. Okay. Next, I got to Yeah, that one's read the, Yeah, I forgot. I know the iconography is actually, but it's um, the government declaration. Check all cities and count how many threat markers are in each city. Per each prosperity marker in a city cancels a threat marker in the same city. We don't have to worry about that math. Okay. Yeah. The governing parties, in total, gain a victory point for each city with zero threat markers. One, two, three, four, five. It's like John gets sick. Oh no, that's, that's a threat council. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Five. So the chancellor gets the uneven number, so it's going to be three for John, two for Paul. Yep. That is that part. Uh, and that part. Then, um, for each city with two or more threat markers, each governing party loses a seat in pub in uh, parliament. So it's just Hamburg. Yep. So they each lose a seat. So one red and one blue each go away. I think mine comes. Does mine come from the overflow? Well, we can just put it in. I think that. Ma I think it, it doesn't matter. It does it not matter. Okay. Uh. Count how many threat markers are in the DR box, then subtract one from that total. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus one is five. Each governing party makes this many crisis yeah! rolls. Get them so all. We make five each? Uh, each. Only, only five yeah. each. Oh, yeah, five each. Oh, uh, to be clear, I'm going to roll two dice. Higher numbers are better. Yeah. Take the higher number. You do, right? all, you do five, and then I'll do five. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So we've got three. Uh, uh, that is point. lose a point. Yeah. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah. So yeah. Who cares about Someone keep track right? of how many of the times I've rolled here. Uh, that is a five. five. Lose a party base. Lose a party base. So you got a couple extras in okay. a perk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, six, no Nothing. effect. Three. three. Oh, sorry. Three. Six, no effect. That's four. Six, no effect. Wow. Yeah, that was that's pretty good. not bad for you. Yeah. <laughs> See, look at that. He's only seen me roll dice three or four times. And he already five, lose a party base. Party base. Um, you got two in Berlin. Let you guys hash it out down here. <laughs> You're just like surrendering. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Six, you got two. Three. Three. You lose, lose a point. A point. Oh, whoa, 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 Hold on. Pause. What? Pause. Just pause. I think game just ended. What? I, I, I may have. A moment. <clears throat> All right, the game just ended. Threats in a city, right here. Poverty can come into play through events or actions, cancel each other out. Prosperity cancels poverty. Poverty cancels prosperity. They just go away, whatever. Yep. If a second marker of the same type is to be placed at the same city, apply the following. Poverty, place the poverty marker in the DR box instead with a maximum two there. That's it. So on those rolls where we randomly rolled poverty, yeah, that that's the end of the game. But is that? I guess is it only for the? The reason we did that is because I think in the in the opening setup, it says if you roll it. Okay, a moment. Let's check let's for that. Back. Check for that thing because I think there is a there's an instance where you just roll until you get three it. poverty in setup. Talking yeah. about on page seven. Yeah, one in each. Uh, three random different cities. Roll two dice for each placement. Then Adam look for the table. Yeah, table. Uh, uh, roll again. Roll the dice again if you roll the same city again. So it's yeah. specific to that. Whereas here, it says in poverty, place the poverty marker in the DR box instead, with a maximum of two there, and any more beyond two are uh, ignored. And a second prosperity instead of placing the marker. A poverty marker is removed from the DR box. Mm. And so that's, uh, yeah, that's, it's it's not specific to to just like, like if, if one said, place it in Kolb, right? But this action just yep, places roll. up there. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? We're going to finish going through the politics phase, but yeah, um, we'll, we'll circle back yeah. okay. and make note of how many, you know what? Turn your points over right now. Sure. Should we, Paul and I, take our point back that we lost since we weren't? It would have ended. Uh, if you got anything after, yeah, like we that. both lost a point on these crisis rolls. So. Right. So take a point back, technically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you wouldn't have lost that yet. Okay. Yeah, just, 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 again, just trying yeah, to, yeah. just yeah. trying to do it right. So, um, okay. So we are threat rolls or crisis rolls, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, two more crisis. Go I mean, for it. it. Do it. So that is a four. Lose a party base. On um, Parliament. What? It's from Parliament. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's that's pretty pretty cool. Cool. Oh, I know, but he said party base. Oh, well, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. In yeah. Parliament. Right? Is that number four? Yeah. One more. Yeah. Yeah. One more. There's two. two. That is lose a Parliament. And a party Whoop. base. And a party base. Yikes. There you go. Okay. So now that that's done. Oh, wrong one. Hold on. Slow down. There we go. So that was that. Next, now you would lose, remove those two markers from the DR box. Oh, right. God. So those two, uh, too late, too little, too late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, then coming back here, we are now through five. We are now into six. And what six effectively says is each of the minor parties, depending on what round it is, they're going to add one or two 
yeah. uh, to the box. So let's finish that. Go ahead. So I think you add two, you add one, and I add two. I think is how that there you go. based on our cards. Yeah. Yeah. So and this goes in player order. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so it sorry. starts here. Yeah. Yep. Oh, because we've reordered now. Yeah. Mm. But it it's really it matter, really does yeah. not matter yep. whether in player order or not. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So they've added that. That's step six. Step seven. Are there twenty four? Is there any in the overflow box? Basically, is or what even it if matters? it's totally full. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, twenty four plus. Twenty four plus. Greater than or equal to twenty four. Yep. Are you possible? I think so. Yeah. May I? Yeah. Um. Greater than 24 in total. Oh, so no. I don't love that symbol, but I okay. don't love it either. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, to me, it's more than 24, but yeah. I digress. So we are clearly more than 24 because, yes. if, in other words, if there's anything in overflow. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then everybody, regardless, and this is simultaneous, is going to go through this. So yep. for instance, if you have four or more, seven or more, or 10 or more, remove that applicable number. So I have five. So, you're gonna so I'm going to remove one. Okay, and then Paul I mean, has five, so he's gonna remove one. Okay, John and I both have at least I have seven, so I'm gonna remove two. And then John, you have ten. It looks like yeah, so you're gonna remove three. Yep. Now, even though before we got to John, right? Yeah. There, there was, there was, there was spots. It Still doesn't removed. matter. Everybody removes simultaneous, and just yep. stressing that point. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So with that said, the final step is. Form a new government. Now, I'm going to take a moment to explain what is and isn't allowed here, okay? Right. Because this was a little unclear the way it's laid out in the rule book, okay? So, what we do is, does any single faction have 50%? Meaning, there are four spots, as you can see in Parliament, right there. So, that means, does anybody have 10? No. Do they have a 50% by themselves? The answer is no. So then we look at coalitions. There are only three coalitions that are allowed. Okay. The three coalitions that are allowed, two of which are SPD. There is one with Zentrum and there is one with KPD. And then Zentrum and the DMVP can be in a in a coalition. Right. So what we do at this point. You can look at it like this. Yeah, yep. Yeah. No, oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, wherever you share a side. So that's another way. Good call. Yep. So now, in these three, what we're going to do is we're going to count the number of seats of pink and red combined. What is that number? Uh, 11? Yeah. 12? 12. That's 12. Okay. So somebody remember 12. Yeah. Now we're going to go red and blue. That is not 12. Okay, and then we're going to go black and blue. Way less than 12. Okay. So we start with the highest number. The right. highest number was 12. Yeah. That was pink and red. So now either one may say nine. They don't want the coalition, and the coalition doesn't happen. Yeah. So yeah. we go, do you want to be in a coalition? Yeah, I think I think in this case I would say yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What is the benefit of being in a coalition? Uh you control the government. government. You can do yeah. you can do foreign affairs. You can mobilize can the police. Too. Yeah, but yes. he can too. But what he can't do is he can't coup. Right. And he can't demonstrate. That's right. Uh, I, you can oh, you can't demonstrate. You can't, demonstrate. You can't yeah. coup. That's yeah. what it yeah. is. Okay. But one so, more step on this. If we get to red and blue and that number, so that's three, six, nine, eleven. Yeah. If it were twelve as well, they have. To form a coalition. Right. They, yeah. they can't turn it down. They yeah. Neither side can turn it down. They yeah. are inclined to agree, so they have to. So that's how the coalitions work. Yep. And then, if, say, Ken said sure, yep. then... I would have to say sure also. Yeah, yeah you we both would have to, would. We would yeah. have to so mutually I, agree. I want to talk about that for a second. Okay. Yeah, so, sure. So if I agreed, which seems crazy right. so, to do, well, but it removes the coup from you, right? But it also gives you access... To the military. So the other thing it does though is it turns my councils over, so they're no longer threats. Because uh, they're government. And by the way, that works the same for my regime markers yeah. if you look at them. Ah, so, yeah. Okay, yeah, so there yeah, would be a benefit from Yeah, that. for sure. And how would you win? This way? 
I would just try to get victory points. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, yeah. So just yeah, points. Now, could could you turn back to the uh, next round? Absolutely, if you, you could. lose control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so they instantly, if he's in government, they're on that side. If he's not in the government, they instantly flip back. Yeah. And that would, he, that would, it would uh, neuter him from using police. Uh, but no, he can always he can use, always. He can always he can use, always use okay. police. Yeah. And I believe, um, there, would they? Would I get points because these technically wouldn't be on yeah. the board anymore? They, you would, right? That's yeah. yeah. Well, next round, but yeah, yes. next round, yeah, yeah. 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 So if we were to play uh, more, I it would make sense for me to do that because yeah, it, again, I think so. Yeah, because then you can't instantly win this round. No, yeah. and it, it so I think the reason I might try it is because I think it would give me a potential path to winning an absolute majority here. In in uh, true because you already have five in there. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So, so that yeah. said, okay. Yeah. Now let's roll it back because okay. that's the end of politics phase. Yeah. However, before we got there. Back, way back, there. Yeah. In step five point one. Yeah. The game ended. Yeah. yeah. Because there are seven markers. So what happens? It's anarchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens then is all the factions, either majority or all uh, the factions coalition, in government, yeah, lose eight victory points. So that's all of mine. That's all of mine as well. So. Lost eight, lost eight. Then we score up victory points. So now I have three. By the way, did you gain any post that? I don't, I don't think, think there's did. a way for me to. No. Yeah. So you have five. I have three, zero, zero. And one. there you go. Hey. The one. So we actually, we gained too. So it wouldn't have mattered. But yeah. Yeah. Ken wins again. Ken wins again. So uh, some things. Um. Nathan says, uh, yeah, the, the reason why you might want to go in that order is is because of the, the coalitions. But yeah, yeah less in right side of the aisle, basically. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. 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 And he says, it's often pretty rough for the KPD and DMVP to be in government. Handicaps their most reliable past the winning, i.e. I, 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 coups. Yeah. Uh, so usually they only do it to get handicapped the SPD or the Zentrum if they're running away with it. Mm. So that's a fair point. That's yeah. fair. Uh, again, we've only... We've only played it right. on now. Yeah, I would try it. I think I yeah. think there are I mean there's some cards for me that can help me get uh seats here. Mm -hmm. So I think being in government and having some stability could be could not be bad. Yeah, for settle again. down, right? You, yeah. you just want to settle down. It's yeah. Getting older and just you know, settle down into a nice these revolts. Into a nice Bolshevist. State. Right, right. That's yeah, what yeah, I want yeah, to settle yeah, down yeah. into. I mean, that's yeah. certainly some bull. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, so um, I'm on the gulag now. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, the game ended after one round. That I have read. Can happen. Can, can happen. happen. Yeah. Um it can it can happen. It can happen. <laughs> it is enough. It's a lot of energy. Um, so <laughs> the question I have is it's fragile yeah. in that regard. Yeah. Um what do you think of the game? Uh who do we start with? Yeah, um, your heart. All right, John, you ummed first. Yeah. I really okay. So, in games, I like asymmetry. Asymmetrical, mm -hmm. asymmetrical factions are really enjoyable for me. Mm -hmm. It just makes it brings variety to the game. I also really enjoy games with instant win con, uh, win conditions. Um, however, I, I really want to keep playing. Yeah, Same. I really did. Like Same. I yeah. started to get into a, a groove here. I'm. It's just exciting. There's a lot of exciting things happening. Oh, I've been looking forward um, to this mm -hmm. all week. Yeah. Like legitimately, since we played it last week, I've been. I've been championing it a bit to, yeah. to get this played. So, so, so that's somewhat disappointing, um, but it just makes me want to play it again. I yeah. Because yeah. I, I think we can push it a little further. Um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I just, the, the theme in it is unbelievable. I mean, I was razzing you a little bit about you increasing inflation to the point of no return. I had no choice. But I mean, that is thematic. That happens in real life, too, you know? Yeah. So, um, that's really cool. My only real gripe is the dice rolls. That's just a personal thing about games. Mm, I mean, you have yeah. to be okay with uh, having a bad roll. I happen to have a good one at that at that point. Um, but the game is beautiful too. I mean, yeah. the 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 dual layer player board is awesome. The components are great. Um, to be clear, it's a dual layer main board. Main not board, true. Boards. That's yeah. true. Mm -hmm. true. Yeah, right. true. And uh, his other games, I really enjoyed too. Rococo is a great game, and this is completely different than that, mm -hmm. which is which is awesome. Um, but no, it's just it's it's exciting. There's something exciting about this game for sure. 
Yeah, and Nathan's like, you could just pretend you'd rolled non-impoverished cities for the sake of the video to see more of the game. <laughs> we could, but we're not going to. And the reason for that is, you know what? It just motivates us to stream it again. Yeah. And yeah. I think we 100%. all are going to want to Absolutely. do that. Absolutely. So, yeah. 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 And, the, and the more we understand the game, the more competitive it's going to be. A hundred percent. Right. Already felt more competitive Maybe. today <laughs> than it did the first play. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, you know, so. it, it felt, it felt. I mean, it's one of those games to where you're like, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, as, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Whereas this, that was kind of the second instance of, oh, mm, didn't yeah. realize that. Okay. Noted. Right. So it helps. Like you and I just recorded the uh, review, our review of evacuation. Yeah. Look, the rules are pretty straightforward. They really are. Although this, obviously right? we missed. That yeah, yeah, one there, thing. There, yeah. There are a couple things that we missed yeah. here, you know, as part of the learning the game. My point is you can read the rules, but the impact of things don't hit you yeah, not at all. until you see them. Then you're like, oh, every action has a consequence. Yeah, like, like even this, yeah. if he, if Ken started putting more of these out, he would push his piece out. You know? right. So, so far the consequence seems to be Ken wins. <laughs> that's 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 the that's the action in the console. Well, I, thematically too, they're under the radar. It says that yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, so right. it's yeah. hard to see them coming, even though there's pink all over the floor. Right. Yeah. So, well, I mean, and I, I think that out. I yeah. think it is. It's meant that like, you know, we're starting right after the revolution of 1917. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And the Bolshevik com Revolution, right? Yeah. In, yeah, yeah. In, you're in, pumped in, up. So and... communism has some momentum. Yeah. The Spartacus Revolution. In Germany happens pretty soon after that. Right. So like it thematically, stuff should be happening for me early in the game. Yeah. So so the, you so, kind of have to ride that out. I was gonna say you gotta kinda squash it yeah. and then you'll be able to get there, right? Yeah. I uh, I have not I, I have not played a lot of card driven war games. I've played Twilight Struggle and I played this. I and I Twilight Struggle felt the same way where where to me it just felt like, oh boy, the you know, the Soviets just like a little bit got you on your back foot and you have to fight your way out that could just be because i'm very bad at it and don't realize what's going on you should tune in tomorrow he's gonna <laughs> play the soviets and he has a lot of experience but with this it, so, yeah. but this feels like a firefighting game uh, like a like a yes. co-op game where to me in that word is that the three of us are trying to kind of put out some fires the two of us he's are starting, starting to put he's out starting, fires. He's trying to start some fires. He's starting different fires, but yes. also doesn't want these fires Fire. to catch on. Yeah. But he starts slow, it seems like. He's, I do. Yeah. We, we're trying to put out grass fires, and he's trying to start, like, chemical fires or whatever. Yeah, they, right? yeah, like, yeah. grease yeah. fires. And, yeah. And, and, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is as close to a coin game yeah. as you can get yeah. for a euro, if in were, my opinion. If there were any right. more coin, Rodney Smith would be swooping in here and being like, did someone say coin game? And he would just be... So yeah, out. like it, it it is it is it is far easier to run yeah. and to play this mm -hmm. than a coin game. So uh, I would say one of the huge advantages yeah. just off the top of my head here is if a coin is a step too far, yeah. but historical, you know, uh, uh, historical, I don't want to say war games, but period games, sure. if you will, if you're still into that, oh my God, this is really good in yeah. that regard. I yeah. Think. Demon mechanics. Just yeah. Like I feel like this is, I mean, maybe, again, maybe I'm off base. I feel like this is to coin games as, like, City of the Big Shoulders is to, like, an 18xx game, where it's like, do you like the stock part of City kinda, of the Big Shoulders? Kind of, you know. Yeah. Do you like the card play of coin games, but not all the fiddly moving around on a map? Like, this game I, might be for you. I could see that, yeah. Now, look, people are going to see this and be like, wait a minute, three hours and y'all only got through one round? <laughs> well. Keep in mind, we're stepping through this real slowly yeah. like for yeah. the stream. And we really didn't start till 6 30. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. it's playing. Our next stream of this is going to be a little bit more it's going to be less of the camera yeah. doing its job yeah. and more of us just getting to it to try and yep. show that yep. in that regard. All right. Yep. So um but yeah I, I I I I'm so disappointed that I don't get to do more. Yeah. yeah. Um, we still have yet to make it into the orange and yeah. much yeah. less the brown so many cards. cards we haven't seen. Yeah. 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 There, there's a lot here that I want really want to dig into this. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, it, it, I mean, man. I so a, a, a thing that makes me know that I like a game is in an asymmetrical setup like this is if I want to try the other positions. Yeah. And I really would like to try kind of all three of the other positions. Yes. You yeah. can see what makes each of them interesting 
Um, and I've, I've only seen my own deck. Yeah. So I, I know what's in there, but I don't know what's in any of your decks. And it just feels like each of them are powerful in their own way, and each of them have like big challenges they have to deal with. Speaking of the last game we played, I elected to go with the economy uh, cards into my deck first. Yep. And that really helped this. Oh, the DR box. Yeah. Okay. It helped, yeah, yeah. It, sorry, so maybe... sorry about that. Yeah, it helped. It helps. It helped against the DR box. It helped clear out all the inflation out of the DR box. Yeah. And then made it so that inflation could never get added to That's it right. again. Yeah. And that was great. And then Ken comes along and goes, boom, 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 four councils. And I'm looking through my deck and I say, oh. Here are the cards in the S group of cards that lets me get rid of Ken's council threat tokens. So that's why I elected to go with that one. So it's interesting, right? Like, do, did you overcorrect? Yes, or or, right or could you have gone that way to knock out inflation and then hope that we are more right. cognizant of the councils? And, I, and I'm definitely yeah. sure that I missed the signals early on about what, how should I start? How should I... Sure. Actually, well, that's why it benefits that. us to take the game as long as possible because you yeah. get more decks. Yeah. yeah. Although it's interesting with the decks, like I, you know, the more cards are in your deck, the less predictable your draw is going to be. That's true. So I, I have another deck I would like to put into play too, but I think I might wait a round or two to let this thin out a little bit. Plus, it also lets you reshuffle. Yeah, that's right. So. Yeah, there is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, one thing, so uh, Shoatan says you know 40 to 60 minutes per round is one thing we haven't mentioned it's a four player only game yeah oh yeah that's true yep. so keep that in mind like there's no oh we have three we can no it's four players only uh so keep that in mind and so it's roughly i'd say i said at the beginning it's about an hour per round it feels yeah. like yep. so maybe 40 to 60 minutes seems pretty reasonable yeah for that um yeah, and I'm 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 stoked. And and the funny thing is, to me, we again we just recently did that review. We're talking about longevity of games and replayability, right? Mm -hmm. Look, I I not only want to play my faction again, but then I'm gonna want to play all like this. This for game sure. has massive legs for me. When uh, when this game showed up, it showed up in a big box. I honestly forgot that it was coming. It's a very large box. Oh, hello, hello, Lincoln. Lincoln wants a marathon. Yeah. Uh, when this game showed up, I I was like, oh, I guess I did back that, didn't I? And it's been sitting on my, like, to play, my shelf of opportunity for a while. And and actually, I found myself saying a couple of times, oh, man, you know, I've been really focusing on trimming my collection down. And I probably, this, I probably wouldn't have backed this if this were coming up now. Because it just doesn't seem like it's in my wheelhouse or anything like that. I have never regretted a feeling more in my life. I absolutely am glad that I backed this game, and I absolutely am excited to play it here again, and I'm excited to bring it home and play it when play with my other friends that I play games with as well. Uh, yeah, Edward, I do play games with other people. I'm sorry, man. But this is how it is. Uh, but, but yeah, I have never been more... I don't think I've ever been more wrong about my assessment of a game. Um, I don't think ever. So I'm really, really excited. I think this is. I'm very glad that Past Me decided to back this. Yeah, good job by Past yeah, Me. Yeah, hi, hi, high five to through, high five, Paul. Th high five through time. Right. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I think I think the one of the most appealing things about it too is the emergent gameplay. Like yeah. you said, you read the rules, you're not really sure what's going to happen, but then it just starts to bubble up. Yep. Um, in a way that's really interesting, and the table talk that mm -hmm. this game produces is yeah. awesome. agreed. Yep. I but told it's not you heads about. Down. I told you about the thread box. He, he, uh, he, he did, did mention it, and uh, there. there you go. Yeah. yeah. Somebody else in chat was like, uh, that seems a concern. And yeah, it yeah. Was. It, when, it, you're, when you lose the game box, is that full, that early? It, it, yeah, that's, that's um, concerning. It is fragile in a sense that from what I'm gathering, yeah. again, it's two plays in, take it with a grain of salt. What I'm gathering is if the game is going to, if you're going to mess up, Something in a sense that oh we didn't keep something in check. Yeah, right. The communists are probably the likely recipients of the benefit of in that. the in the early game. Of the early, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If the game ends early, yeah, they seem like they're going to be I the can't beneficiary. Even imagine that's what the, the gameplay is going to be like when we start introducing those jerks. Well, they didn't win, so we're all winners. Yeah, right, right. There's right, that so, anarchy right. beats Nazis. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So, but I think yeah. your faction is yet to be they seen. Snowball. Yes, yeah. exactly. I yeah. think you'll pick. We up start, like, 
I mean, it's asymmetric start, right? right. The, the, the SPD starts strong. Yeah. I start weak. And then it's, it's honestly, um, in that regard, it reminds me of Three Kingdoms Redux that there are three factions yeah, and right. they inverse the longer the game goes. So it behooves the, the, uh, the, the faction that starts strong to end it early. Yeah. In this one, they need to keep you in, keep the communists in, at bay while also keeping the DMVP from getting too strong mm -hmm. while racking up victory points. Yeah. So and it makes sense because in the end, you, your faction was the strongest. Yeah. At the end. Yeah. So. Was the strongest. Well, they ended up. Oh, in the real fell, world, in the, the end. In, yeah. In, in, yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean, right. guys, they yeah. like, were able to go in into the yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. 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 Right. So that may, I mean, thematically, yeah. again, it makes sense. And what yeah. Even Paul though said, it doesn't feel good. Germany was fragile at that point. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. checks out, right? Nice. I mean, like it could have, I mean, hold on. The Nazis don't come into power if they don't have a really unstable yeah. and really displeased. Yeah, there was a vacuum. In yeah, right. yeah, there you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. What a passion project. What a labor of love. I think. Yeah. Was and really wow, love. did they bring it home, dude, yeah. in the production. Yeah, like, awesome. Uh, okay, I mean the board is massive. Yeah. Like, hand. Do we, do we want to get? Do we want to get that four K? That four K no, PTC no, zoom no, all the way no, in there? No, we do. We do. See not. the open pores on no, our hands. You're right. So no, it, it's gorgeous. It, it. To be honest with you, not as big a table hog as you would think. Not at all. Like, everything is right here within your player board area. Right. Only, I mean, honestly, right. you could have your victory points just stacked up right here. Yeah. And so you only need that area for your player board keep area. Your, keep them in your pocket. Right. Put them there. Yeah. Right. No bigger than any common, like modern Europe. Right. Right. Yeah. My point is, all this area is empty. Yeah. Right. All this area down there, up there. But at the same time, yeah, we got some pieces off. I the mean, side here. there's all this stuff. You, you get the idea. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's not a table, massive table hog, but it's, it's Big. not small. I'd yeah. call it, three, I mean, no, two and a half to three, three hogs out of five. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, interesting. Scott says you should consider play, and uh, we didn't even mention this. It comes with a scenario Ooh. book. Yeah. To sure. where uh, uh, we just, turns five and six. It just starts us right at turn five and six. Right. Yeah. Hence Ooh. dancing on a volcano. And yeah. I would assume, right. it, yeah. I would yeah. assume like bad stuff has already happened As, at yeah. that point, right? Yeah. So. I imagine. I, I think there's multiple scenarios as well. Yeah. yeah. Shorter sure. games. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah. We just wanted to play the whole the whole shebang and then yeah. see where it went. We, we but there Ooh, you go. Yeah, again, I would just, I mean, I'd be happy to just play a base game several more times. Look, uh, what, agree. what time is it? 8.49? Like, yeah. I wouldn't actually kind of not, like, not, not be opposed to like if we shut this stream down and like want to play again. All right, y'all have a good night. Yeah, I'm yeah. Edward. Uh, yeah, sure. So, I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, so that that's it. That's Weimar, or at least round one of Weimar. That's right. Uh, certainly appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Really appreciate it. Uh, well, you and I will be back. Looks like noon. Probably not noon. Okay. Yeah. Later in tomorrow, watch yeah. watch social media if you're a patron. Watch Slack uh, for what time we're going to do Twilight Struggle. Yeah. Um, you have like 50 plus plays of Twilight Struggle. Yeah. I have four, three or four. Four now. Yeah, yeah sure. I think four total. Yeah. You got um, a chance. So, yeah. I I mean, hey, I, it was close. Yeah. You were hanging in there last I, time. I was hanging, I think, I was hanging uh, yeah. there. So, yeah. we'll see how it goes. All right. That's a wrap. Y'all have a great night. I'm Edward. John. Paul. Ken. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We're out of here. Y'all have a good night. Take care, everybody. Bye.